How you guys doing? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to Hydroneer, the journey to Volcalidus. In our previous stream, I did do a little bit of work, and I promised you that in this stream, I wouldn't go further into the game past like getting the dinosaur bones, because the dinosaur bones, I'm going to be honest, are a pain in the butt to go and find all the time. So I've done it three times already. I don't want to do it again, so this game is the one I just want to keep working in. So I did collect all the dinosaur bones, so we're going to go into that now. You'll actually get to see this before I actually go and clock it in. So I gathered them all up and put them in my plot of land so you guys don't have problems seeing what I'm doing. Okay? It just means it's all there. There's no cheats for this game, so you have to physically go and get all these bastard things yourself. Apart from that, it's all good. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Hope it gives you a sort of little bit of an insight into the game and how things are working and so on and so forth. And basically what I did after the last stream, how you doing Brady Wilcox? So, what I did after the live stream last time, uh, yo yo what's up brother? James uh, Detweiler, doing good man, thank you very much. So what I did was I bought all my all my stuff over from the uh, from Dawnrest to here. I set it all up so I've got my like hand saw, I've got my stone, I've got my two drills, we've got all this set up, and that's basically where I want my line to go underground. So I've marked it out, but it's I've marked it the same place I did for my video, so and I, I know where I'm digging, basically. Now, what I did do was I went and gathered up all the bones. There are 36 bones for you to collect in this game, and basically they go to the museum. The museum has a quest log basically for all the bones. So they are everywhere in the game, apart from there's only two spawn points in um, in the Barrens area. Matthew Fowler, how you doing? James Detwell, thank you very much for becoming part of the Mo Hybrids Moshpit crew. Yeah. Oh. Right, so when you come to going into the map, um, down here, which is the Barrens, there are only two spawn points for this area. Okay, The rest of it, basically, all of the rest of the map can get, there's a lot of spawn points for the bones so just have a look around the map and be happy i'm not going to do a comprehending guide of where all, all 70 or 80 points there are where the spawn but know that there are only 36 bones so once you've got all 36 it's all good how you doing claws thank you very much for kicking by and razor over on twitch thank you very much for becoming a member my seventh prime member use jeff bezos and money well thank you very much sir so i've got to load up all of this and i've got to take it to the museum and then you're going to see the and then you're going to see the reward because the reward for this if I'm going to be honest it's a really good reward for like early part of the game it really is yeah my stream keeps making funny noises now cheers guys <laughs> david reed how you doing bud uh just got the dlc then started watching uh yavod awesome i'm very sorry for taking up all your time uh, <laughs> So hopefully I've got all the bones because if I've screwed this up, we got we got to go on a big like adventure around the map trying to find like one. But I'm pretty sure I got all 36. We'll find out when I've loaded all this onto my car, all, all onto my trolley or truck or whatever you want to bloody call it at this point. And then we can go and talk to the man, the man with the plan or the man with the scrolls at least. Ugh. But yeah, so you're looking for two horns, one skull, two arms, four legs, four feet, and a shed ton of ribs, and a massive tail spine thing, basically. So how it is. You got Comic Con tomorrow, dude. Which which Comic Con are you going to tomorrow? Because I've seen a few of them being advertised on Facebook. I'm like, all right, you've got that person there and that person there. It's, okay. Got to leave at seven fifteen. You'll be fine. David Reed played Fortnite. No. I, I haven't played Fortnite since they since they chucked in the uh, Battle Royale. Because I was a early buyer into that game. I put my £13 into that game and I wanted to play Save the World. And unfortunately, the game they basically uh, mainly supported the, the uh, Battle Royale. So I haven't played it since. They went against what I saw was the actual flesh and blood of the game. Instead of actually keeping it more community driven. But there you go. And since then, I've had a massive chip on my shoulder with Fortnite. I don't enjoy the game at all. I'm not five years old, so I'm not going to enjoy all the cartoon characters being chucked into it as early microtransactions to basically pull in people to get them addicted to spending money on a basically first uh, a shooter game. I'm okay. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> also, I did make these, so I should get a nice little chunk of cash. 
mainly gold, cladium, and core, uh, not core stone. Um, yeah, it is core stone, sorry. Cladium, core stone, and bits and pieces. The only reason I owned Fortnite uh, was the save the world aspect. Yeah, basically, that was the only reason why I had it. Hey, hybrid, so excited for the DLC. Today. Yeah, it should be out, like, right now. You should be able to go and purchase it on Steam right now. And I think in the UK, it's, like, £8.50 or 9 quid, which is a flipping bargain. So, I, I actually, I've, I've just finished doing a review of this. So, that comes out in about a week and a half's time. And I go through the things that... I don't tend to understand why they're in the game and that sort of thing, but I do, uh, you know, I've given it a decent sort of, like, score. You know, I mean, it's just more Hydraenea. If you like the game, you like the, you, you should like the DLC. Um, I've got a couple of niggly things with it, and it's all good, but apart from that, it's more, like, pricing-wise. I thought it was going to be tenner, so in my review, I generally thought it was going to be a tenner, so I made that review before knowing how much it was actually going to be. Uh, I, oh, I, I actually got an achievement for doing a bone. Fantastic. Woke up to good news. I uh, got the DLC for free. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, everyone got it. So I'm actually I'm actually glad Max decided to give everybody the uh, everybody who was beta testing an actual key. So that was pretty cool. You know, he he, re he rewarded the people who spent the time testing the game. Like we we found some awesome bugs and it was fun. I j this is why I don't mind beta testing games because you just sit there going, you know what, it's gonna be fun. I wish my truck wouldn't run away, though. Get in. There we go. Right, now I should be just be able to stand on the back and just chuck him in. I've done this too many times. I don't need to do this again. Ah! <laughs> Are you finished? Please say you're finished, because I don't want to. I don't want to go finding one more bone. And there you go. There is the beast of Volcalidus. Now, the reason why this is one of the best things to do at the beginning of the game. So after you've like started and you've earned a bit of cash, this is one of the best things. Drive around the map and look for the bones. They could be in very few places. How you doing, Morris? Dark Dragon, welcome. Doug B. Ben Swaddling Claws. Yep. How you doing? Hi guys. So the reason why you want to collect all this is because of this dude. Now he gives you a scroll. And this scroll is to collect bone. So, give him back the scroll, because I've collected all the bones. He gives me 100 tokens. <gasps> it's amazing. It's all good. Oh, and another scroll. He's gonna. He wants me to collect 12 more bones. So here we go. I'm going to get this. Hey, wonderful. we got some more scout tokens for getting all the skeleton. And then, oh, I need to collect 24 bones. So I'm going to give him back the scroll. And he's going to give me more tokens. It's fantastic. And then the last scroll. He wants me to collect the rest of the skeleton, which I've already done. And it's all good. And then the best thing about this is you start with 9,100 tokens, which you will need for buying stuff out of the tier 2 and tier 3 shop later on in the game. Best start in the world. Genuinely, I, I actually really enjoy the fact we actually got rewarded for this. So that's all good by me and I'm fine. Next, I need to sell these two swords off, and then we can... Oh, sorry, mate. I need to sell these two swords off so we can make some cash. Now, I'm thinking... Uh, I'm not going over to Lumberton to sell swords, so I'm going to sell them at the jewellers. Yeah, because I'm lazy. I ain't driving away over there just to sell swords. I'll do that here. Yeah, how you doing, pal? Right. And the reason why we need this is because I need to buy some conveyor belts. I need to make some dosh. So we got some dosh, and now I need to make my lineup. You asked either about Comic Con, it's in Wrexham. That's cool, man. It's all good. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Have fun with it. Get your, you know, get the signatures you want, and so on and so forth when it comes to like people. I think a few of the ones that were local to me were like, I think. Um, I think it was mainly like there was a few doctors from the Doctor Who original series like going to some of them. I was like, that's pretty cool. The downside is like taking my kids to a Comic Con wouldn't be too bad. It's the walking around that like, it's going to kill Kerry. I mean, she'll be all right, but then like the next day she will sleep like straight, and it will be like, okay, cool. She ain't going anywhere for a bit. Super excited for the new DLC. Have been enjoying your videos so far. Uh, picked it up already and about to start the delivery mission. Yeah, the, the delivery mission and doing the bone mission is probably the best starts for the game. Get yourself some currency behind you, make some money, get yourself some scout tokens, and you're well on your way to basically carrying on with everything then. 
Right. Now. I don't need this anymore, but what I knew what I do need to do is we need to work on like my first plot. Now, that pipe that I've got standing up is where I actually want my like actual line to go. So I want it to go underground from about here onwards. Because I'm sort of working on the plan that I did whilst I was like experimenting with the game and everything before I could actually make videos. I sort of set out where I should be and where I could go. And this here is like one of the best ways to me because I've got to keep I've got to keep it sort of like I basically tunnel down to tier one, stick my drills down there and just get it all humped up to the harvester. Now I've got enough money on me to do that. So that's what I need to do. So we've got to get rid of this. We've got to take these off. And we got to start messing around with stuff. Because I've got my basic tools. We will be fine. Tar very much for subscribing over on Twitch. Carpo. Carpro. Thank you very much, buddy. Carpo, sorry. Not Carpro. I don't know. You might be a Carpro. Most appreciated, though. Thanks, yo. Right. The downside is having to take all of this apart again. Because taking it apart sucks. I do need to get myself a sled. Uh, can't st can't sup you on here currently. Uh, though I forgot about Twitch Prime. Yeah, that's fair, man. I don't mind. Like, if you want, if you want to use Jeff Bezos's money to support a streamer or myself, use Jeff Bezos's money. It's cheaper for you. I mean, I would. I mean, Kerry's basically the person who uh, who owns like Twitch Prime in the house, so she can she can subscribe to her favorite creators as well. So she does occasionally when she gets into like a Twitch phase where she's like, "I want to watch this," so she does. So that's where I want that to be. We're all good. You know what? I need five. I need it to be five off. So that's where I want that to be. I need to get rid of that snow because that's going to do it's going to do my head in coming for somebody who like I need to get rid of things. It's there. It's not supposed to be there. Me and my aunt have been making a silicon mold of a mug. Cool. What sort of mug are you looking at? Like a big one. Are you going for like a massive mug or like a tiny mug? Oh, I forgot to put, I forgot to put on the avatars. No. We'll do stream avatars tomorrow, okay? Oh, I forgot to add them on. That's that sucks. Really sorry, guys. Forgot about them. How can I forget about them? They're awesome. Right, so I need this because like these five in this row are going to be where I put my auto repair because I'm going to put the auto repair in because I would be stupid if I didn't. But that is quite expensive to start with. So. Right. Go there. That can go there. And that can go there. Excellent. So that's fine. We'll keep this one on the side until we get ourselves a valve. That's cool. Right. Unfortunately, this has to be moved. So that's okay. That has to be moved as well. So that's okay. And this is where we need to be. And I think, I can't remember how far along it has to go to like start like arcing down. So my harvest is going to be about here. So I just need to bring out a few more of these. Because what I tend to, what I'm doing like in this is, the way that's in my head is I have my harvester up here. So when it comes to bringing in like the heavy harvester later, it's easier to move around. Um... Because I already sort of know where I need to be and where I need to go. Where did you come from? Where did you go? And, um, yeah, so my harvest is going to sit about here. My line of, um, like, conveyor belts is going to come up this line as well. So I need to bring that in as well. So we need to go pipe. We need to go and buy some pipe. And then we need to start building a staircase downstairs with pipes because we need to build a conveyor belt down to tier one. Oh, yes. And that's what we need to do. So let me just grab all of this crud and get it out of the way. And then we can start sort of messing around. But we have got, what, about nine grand to like start doing doing stuff? Should be alright. 
Right, and that's where I want that to start. We're going to bring this over here as well. Get all this out of the way. Ah, oh, joys of Hydronia. Let's start digging. So, I need to build a staircase down first. It needs to be too wide. So I can get my fat butt down it. Do them. Right. So, right here. Now, the downside is that this pickaxe is really slow. And if you want a faster pickaxe, you have to make one at the uh, on the volcano's forge. So it's a long, you know, it's a it's painful. Right, it's the start. The only way is down, baby. How was the working out going? Um, I've had to take time off because of half term, but apart from that, yeah, we're doing all right. I enjoyed my first sort of, I would say like my first like six weeks, well, I see it was four weeks because I was only there for like four weeks before obviously half term started. Like my first week in, I died. I was like, no, hell, everything hurts. But slowly got used to it and I started dragging more weight, which is good. So as in like I started like lifting more, not like putting more on. I did put a little bit of weight on, but that was just because, like, my body's never really done this before. But, yeah, I, I mean, I enjoyed it. So, in my head, I, I'm like a gym rat, but I only go, like, three days a week. So, it's all good. It's all, it's basically what I sort of needed. I needed discipline to do this because I've never need. I've never needed it in the past. I've always just been, you know what, I'm just going to do this. I'll, I'll be okay. And I never really bothered like to motivate myself to do things. But over the time of doing it, genuinely, every time I'm like, you know what, actually, I want to go again. I want to do this again. I want to do that. So I sort of, I've really got into that like mentality. And now I'm just like, I need to read. I, need, I watch other people's videos on like exercises I can try next. So, yeah, I'm just finding things that work for me to make me better, which is what you're supposed to do, apparently. So, yeah. Building a better me for the future. Huh? But yeah. So the reason why I'm building a staircase down is because I'm going to be I'm going to be putting stairs into it, but this gets me down to tier one, and I can like bring that down as well. Right. Got a PC upgrade to do tonight. Nice. What are you going for? Wasn't your motivation started at a funeral? Yes. I didn't want to be the next one. But it's more become sort of a thing in my head. It's like, you know what? I need to motivate myself and get things going. And it's like it's like everything I've done in the past. Like when I was like 10 pin bowling and I used to be part of a league on that, I sort of like learned how to bowl properly. When I was playing badminton, I learned how to play badminton properly. When I was like playing baseball, I was literally learning how to play baseball properly. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm getting older, but I sort of like slung myself into it. Like, you know, I've got to learn the culture, the sport, this, that and the other. And it just makes me, it's like one thing. But now I'm going to a gym. I'm like, now I need to get into this properly. And I need to like learn how to like be better. Most of my problem, I would probably say, is diet more than anything. So, at the moment, every time I go, it's more sort of like cancelling out the crap I've eaten. So, I need to just... It's more willpower at that point, just trying to phase out the the crappier part of my lifestyle. That's the joys of it. Right. Nearly there. I think we're down, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Should only be down a couple more stairs. That's it. So yeah, I, mean, I, I, I said. I mean, if I had a crystal ball to be able to see what I was going to be looking like by the end of the year, I'm probably I'm probably not going to lose like too much, but like shape will change, probably. But I'm pro I'm looking at like a two year like thing. I mean, it's never gonna it's not going to happen all in one go, at all. Oh no, I just took out one more than I needed to. No.
bums. All right, we need to unstuck. Huh. Just here on the news, and the American drove 10 hours to reunite with a dog. 10 hours is about as long as it takes to drive from South Britain to North Scotland. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. It's about a thousand miles. Probably a little bit, probably a little bit longer. Maybe shorter, but depending on traffic. Right, that should be okay. I mean, the worst part is I'll drop that. Cool, excellent. I didn't know if I'd be able to drop it here because it's like it's right in the middle of an ice sheet. Let's go. Ah, there we go. We got a step. Fantastic. Right now. That is the floor, so that's like, that's where I should be. That's tier one, the end of. Huh? Right, now, huh? I need to drop my rake here. Huh? Stop hurrying at me! And we need to dig out an area. Right, so I need to be on this step because this is like the end of it. Down there is tier two. Uh, yeah, you're right. Take it at your time. Last thing you want to do is hurt yourself. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, my first, I would say that my first week when I was at the gym was like that was that was hurting because I've never done it before. Um, yeah, I got I've got into a little circuit of what I need to do in my head. So. I'm just looking at now things of like how to improve it and to do things like to get a result faster but without hurting myself too much. You know, I'm 40. So I'm like, I need to like look after myself a bit more when it comes to like repairing and like maintenance sort of thing. So yeah, I'm, it's, it's all the joys of just looking after yourself now. And that's what I need to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Right, now what I'm doing is I'm trying, I'm basically digging out a cavern for, um, tier one it doesn't have to be too big it just has to be enough just to get a couple of drills down here bring the conveyor belts down and we just let it run the downside is having to dig it all out with a pickaxe and a rake it should be okay though jim we should be fine yeah the thing is, is I, I know i don't feel my age occasionally like when i wake up and i've got like a stiff neck then yeah i do feel my age but like, I do feel like I'm younger in my mind, which is quite nice. I just need that. Uh, for me, it's just actual motivation to do stuff right now. So it's the doing it for the kids, don't want to die yet, sort of trying to keep myself alive. So, yeah, I'm all good. And that's enough motivation I need. But I enjoy it, that's the thing. I, I'm I, I got into it mentality wise. I, I really enjoy going. I don't turn up and go. Oh, I've got to do this again. I actually I've got a smile on my face, or at least inside, just because I'm tired half the time. But that's just because of life. <laughs> the rest of it's fine. Right. So we need enough room to bring down a pipe all the way to here. We just need to dig out this cavern a little bit, and then we can bring some drills in. We can get some piping running down here. We'll be fine. Bad Wolf, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Uh, what's the weirdest device you know... Hold on. What's the weirdest device you know you've been on, like a smart fridge? don't know. don't really go on a lot of, like, weird devices. You have Mufis. I finally got where you were uh, live. You were walking into Volcadia, uh, Volcalidus. I think I spelled it right. Yeah. <laughs> Basically right now, I'm, this is the slow process of digging out a cavern so I can bring some drills down. And then we got to go and get some conveyor belts. Then we got to go and like level it all up and we should be alright. I do prefer a slightly higher roof, so as not to bang my head, or feel like I'm stuck in a nice hole. Bit of room never hurt anybody, you know. 
Right, let's start getting this all straightened out, shall we? No, I needed that one. If it's too cramped, we'll just make it bigger. It's fine. Right. It's still too cramped. We just need a couple more blocks into this. I really want a faster pickaxe. Because I've not, I know how fast it can go, even if you just put like a regular pickaxe in. I, I want one now. So this sucks. I woke up 2am th 2 thinking I'll get the DLC now. Uh, but I got <laughs> you're too tired to play. Don't wake up early. What's the strangest device you know someone has watched your videos on? Um, I don't know. Like I don't. I, I know people watch my like my videos on like Android and things like that. But you don't get to know what people are actually watching your content on. I would say most people watch it on TV or mobile phone. I, maybe PC users and laptops mainly. But I don't know if there's actual people out there just watching it on like really odd devices. Already going to tier two. Are you headed to tier three? Um, no, this is just tier one. So where I'm up to now is lit. This is just tier one. So that dirt there, that's tier two. I can't dig that. So this floor is going to be for tier one drills. Well, I say tier one drills. The drills are generic. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about tiers on drills. They work on every tier now. I don't want to know what you do in the bathroom. I don't want to know if you've got a smart mirror. That sounds... Yeah, dodgy. What you do in your bathroom is what you do in the bathroom. I don't really want to know. I'm good, do you know? It's wrong. So basically your drills are, if, if, so w the way I've referred to this is basically 1.7 tech. So the drills work on every tier. Now the only thing that limits you is literally your tools. So you've only got tier 1 tools to start with, so you can only dig down to tier 1. So when you get the tier 2 tools, you can move your drills down to tier 2. Pretty much how we used to do the things in like 1.7 and before. All your drills can just drill at any height. They don't have to be, they're not They're not tier specific. Even the heavy drills work on every sort of like soil type now. It's like, th there's no difference. So I'm like, okay, cool. So this is 1.7 again. So you're setting up tier one floor. Yes. Basically, I'm going to bring in like four or five drills. We've got to go and make, get them made. We've got to fund it. We've got to do all that. So yeah, at the moment, I'm just clearing out a little hole. This is where I'm going to be bringing down like the tier one stuff, and we'll be alright. It doesn't have to be a lot. It literally just has to be like enough just to bring them in and get the conveyor belts down. That's it. Yeah. So if you if you ever played like 1.7, and you were like, oh, I can move my drills down a bit further. I've dug down deeper. I put them on the bottom of the plot. Like I, like all the experiments we used to do, and like how far you know the the how much can you earn and so on and so forth. When I used to do that, you used to be able to put, like, normal thumper drills down onto, like, bedrock. Because bedrock was only, what, 12 spaces down before they got made real deep. So, it's the same in this now. The drills don't have a tier stoppage. They're just the same. You can use them on every tier. Which is good. You know, I mean, I don't mind being open and a bit more like, hey, I can put this wherever I like. But it sort of goes against what we've all been doing on, like, the standard version of Hydroneer, you know, the base game where we were on, like, you had to use a tier one drill on tier one stuff, tier two and tier three, which I, I it, it's one of my little niggles. It's like, it feels a little bit like we took a step backwards on this point, but, you know, no one else really bought it up, so I sort of just kept my mouth shut and just were like, whatever. Um, it's Max's choice at the end of the day. I bring this up in my review for the game, but as I said, it's just my opinion. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to. You just take everything I say with a grain of salt and it's fine. But my thinking was that when it came to the tier stuff, it made more sense to have tiered equipment because of just what we've done in the past. 
But like I said, that's just me. I like the ice above you. Yeah, the ice is pretty cool. I like this. I like the fact that it's textured and it looks pretty cool. The downside is when you spend a lot of time underground, everything just goes white. And I don't know. I think it's just because I've got sensitive eyes. It all starts to hurt a bit. Just, I think I just need to make the roof bigger. All right, I need to get rid of that pillar. Huh? Don't go hurt me. Right, that's fine. Get rid of that corner as well. Steamy reminds me to give this one a like. Yep. Don't forget to don't forget to like it. If, I mean, if you if you like the content I create, don't forget to like the streams as well because the streams are basically where, you know, if you've got like questions and you want things straight away, I, I can do that right now. Like, if you have anything. When it comes to my videos, it's a little bit like obviously you have to wait for those to come out. So I'm here now. If you've got any questions, ask away. I'm fine. I'm only digging. You'll be you'll be okay. You're not going to be putting me off. I'm here for a couple hours. Let's put it away. Right, that should be big enough to bring down tier two, uh, tier one. I do need a bit more headroom, so that's a bit of a pain. So if we can go up one more square, we should be fine. And it just do it doesn't feel so claustrophobic either. So not like I've got claustrophobic. It just feels I don't know, just too close. Oh, you bum. Probably got to go to sleep at 8 because I get up at like 6. That's fine. I'm up all the time. If the drills are all the same, is there a reason for spending time on building out a tier 1 money setup? Um, yeah, because have you got enough money to get down to tier 2? You need to go and own, you need to unlock tier 2's uh, shop. And then you need to unlock, you need to have enough tokens to buy all of tier 2 stuff. So, unfortunately, yeah, it does mean you have to do the extra, like, little bit of work. But, you know, it's fine. And once, you know, once you get down, once you've got drills running at tier 1, it becomes easier just to mine up for tier 2. And you can start prepping that as soon as you've got, like, tier 2 tools. Tier 2 tools. Because you have to get the tier, you have to get the tiered tools. They're all locked up, so... In order for you to buy the tiered tools now, you have to have tokens. There's a lot of bloody T's in this, right? Okay? It's, it, it, yeah. So that's what you need. Huh? It's all good earning a bit of cash to start with as well. So. But I mean, if you've if you got enough money together at the start, yeah, go for it. It's just for me, I don't like to spend too long sitting around on like dawn rest. I'd, I prefer just getting on with it and going into a, a, whole, a higher lot. So it's just progression more than anything. Plus you can get good ideas on how to run tier 2 with a smoother... Yeah. So, if you, yeah, so I mean, that's the thing. The, the, the drills themselves are quite self-explanatory. But once you've got things running, it's it's all good. And you're earning. That's, that, that's, that's the whole thing I see. It's like you're earning money. It's all good. By the way, how are you doing, Diesel? Welcome to the stream. I need to do this so I've got headroom and then I'm fine. And then we can still, we can go off to a shop and we can get some drills and we'll be okay. Uh, I think I missed which spot did you go for. I always go for waterside just because I'm a creature of habit and I prefer the bigger plots of land. There are other plots. You can go to any of the ones you like. But for me... Waterside just feels more homely. 
Like, I'm used to South Hope, so I'm used to having a bigger plot of land and everything else. So, And the idea of getting down into the, the actual plot and getting the roller down there and taking out all the snow and ice and finding all the like bits and pieces. Yeah, I just, I just wanted a bigger plot of land. And, um, yeah, this is where I did a lot of the beta testing as well, so... So I did the I did most of my beta testing was basically in uh, Waterside, um, and then when I was doing all my like experiments and bits and pieces before I was allowed to record, I was at Waterside. And the reason why I'm at Waterside more is just convenience. It is the closest to New Glade. It's the closest to like most of the shops apart from the electrical shop. So yeah, it's a shame there's no water intake. Um, well, no water water comes from your thingy. So. That's fine. You don't need a water intake. You need to melt your own snow. You know this. You were a tester. No, I need to go. Yeah, there we go. Go up. Yeah, the new flamethrower thing is awesome. Yeah, the tank's pretty cool. Uh, you have to go and buy it, though. So you have to go and physically go to Mott's Island and get it. Have you managed to gather all the bone pieces? Funny enough, right at the start of this stream, yes, I, ju I literally just did that. So I, I took about an hour of myself to just go and do that and then got it all sorted, ready to start the stream with. So yeah, I've got all the bone pieces ready. They're all done. Um, I got paid for it, so it's all good. And I've, ate, I've even done a video for it as well, so that will come out in a couple of days' time, I think. I think that's coming out on Sunday, that one. Because I've got five videos coming out between... Like just Saturday and Sunday alone, because it's mainly just all the beginner stuff that people are going to be questioning, and then the whole of next week is like there's one a week or one a day, so you should have it. I think everything will be answered by the end of next week, by the end of, happily. Yo, hybrid! Oh my God, I can think uh, of so many um, Arnie Mister Freeze jokes. Yeah, it's time to freeze. You get in the freezer. You're fine. Do it now. Right, so now I need to go up this side. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I need to bring down a water pipe and a lava pipe down the side of my stairs. Because this is just how I do things. Now, if I can cut this in and get it sorted, we're, so we're fine. All I have to do is just lay pipe. Oh yeah. Right. Huh? So Diesel, did you finally get around to using like core stone properly? Because I knew you were going to have trouble with something. Most of you big YouTubers have an issue with at least one thing. I say that because I've watched like, I've watched RCE's video. Um, I haven't watched Blitzes yet. I heard Dre has a bit of trouble. Um, yeah. I haven't watched his video either yet. I, I'm actually, I'm a little bit scared to watch theirs because, like, a lot, I know it sounds bad, but when you're a little YouTuber like me, you tend to spend more time doing stuff in a game so you learn it a bit better. I do find, like, a lot of the bigger YouTubers tend to be like, you know, I'll, I'll do a video of this, we'll be fine. And then they go into it, no, you know, like 80% of what they're doing. And then some of it is just like questioning. Which I find funny. I think this is why I could never be a big YouTuber. I could never spend like, I could never do that many videos and just like not know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I haven't seen Let's Game It Out video yet if he's done one. But he tends to wait a little bit longer because he breaks the game. I'm waiting to see what he finds because obviously being a tester, you think you found everything. So I'm hoping, if I'm going to be brutally honest, I'm hoping Let's Game Out doesn't find anything wrong with the game. Because if he doesn't find anything wrong with the game, we did a good job. And that's how I, that's literally how I rate the process of like being a tester for Hydronir. If Let's Game Out finds a problem, we're screwed, right? We, we didn't find that one thing that he did. So when he makes a video, I want to see if he breaks the game or he's just messing with it. So, yeah. 
I know he made a video on Supermarket Simulator. Yeah, I, I, I saw that pop up today. I was like, I should watch this because it's not a bad game. But I want to see how we, how he broke the how he broke the game. So yeah, I'd be interested to see what he comes up with. Uh, I think I think there's still a collision glitch with New Glade Shop. I don't know. I know one question: How can I get to the new island? Uh, have you bought the DLC? There's the big question. Have you spent money on the game? I've been playing Supermarket Simulator for a few days now. Yeah, I've, I mean I've got it. It's not a bad little game. It's so fine. Okay, so if you've got if you've bought the DLC, go to Bridgeport, and then you're gonna want to basically go to the boat that's in the harbour and push the button. Uh, it's on the boat. There's a little lever that you pull, and you come to bridge. You come to Volcalidus. After two weeks of training myself how to save Volcalidus, I finally got it. It's amazing. Right, I think that should be good enough. So now, um, yeah, I have a few corners, but not many. So we're gonna have to go and get some more. That's okay. No problem. Steam will update it for it. Yeah, no, but he's it basically where some people don't know where they go straight away. So I get it. Don't worry. Um, I don't think I've got many corners. We're going down, 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 down. I found a collision glitch there uh, during beta. Uh, itchy knew that I'm not sure. I don't know if it's been fixed. It's a Viking word, Volcalidus. Yeah, it, it doesn't surprise me. It's very confusing getting around. No, not really. Uh, it's pretty simple. Stick to the road. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to do much else apart from that. It's quite... The one, one, thing is, is once you've actually... Once you've learnt the map, you'll never unlearn it. Never. You'll be like, okay, cool, I know where I'm going. Don't worry about it. And it's like... It's like Forrest Gump finding home. You're just like, I need to go home to my mama. And then you, you, you'll you get there. Don't worry. You'll be okay. I'm not sure what road. There's one main road that basically does the whole map. You'll be okay. Where's my money? There's my money. That was the last of my money before I came here, before I got all this stuff. Uh, you know when you take your break from the game? I I break when I finish the stream. Can you speak Old Norse? No. Why would I? I'm English. You actually have two maps. One map is in the back of your first truck when you pick it up. The other map is at New Dawn. So when you go to New Dawn, you pick up the other map that's by the wall. But yeah, so pretty simple to get to used to. Lumberton, drive the road, turn right, go to Dawn's Rest and follow the road around. When you get to this place, just try and follow the road, because apparently Max has turned the um, the fog back on, which sucks. So, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the foggy area. And I do actually talk about that in my review. So, Right, I need... What do you want now, little one? What do you want, bud? Right. Right, good night. Sleep tight, okay? Okay, so I need pipes, conveyor belts, enough pi enough like lava pipe to get down to the bottom. Okay, cool. We're going to go and buy a shop. I also need to buy a sled because I can stack up a bit better there. I did forget to bring a pan with me, but I shouldn't run out of lava. We'll be all fine. Or need to use the bathroom. I don't know. So basically, when it comes to... like, I've been to the toilet and stuff already. I don't need to go. And I know I'm good for like four or five hours. So I won't go. Unless like all of a sudden I get desperate. Which is very rarely. I'm good for like four hours. Why do you feel so out of place playing this game? I think it's because you've never like you've been here before. And it's not the same as it used to be. <clears throat> I think you were the youngest beta tester for this version of the game, yeah. I need, uh, yeah, I need a sled. Sled. Cool. Uh, do, 
They don't do lava pipes here. Gonna have to go to the other shop for that, aren't I? Bums. Hmm. Hi, Max. I found a bug. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, well, well. I don't know if anybody can confirm this. Toothless Legend, Hi, Brazil. By any chance, has anyone had issues with Hydroneer constantly getting crashes on launch with today's update? Uh, your best bet is to go into the Hydroneer Discord, not mine, and go and, uh, go and talk there. Playing the DLC on myself right now. All good. Right, let's see if we can do this and actually get on the sell point with this and not leave it in the middle of the shop this time. Cool, so that one is mine now, that's good. I can't use the cart. I'm gonna have to actually I'm gonna have to update the game. That sucks. Right, okay, so I've bought that one. I don't know about that one. I'm gonna have to reset quick. Give me a sec. Um save and quit. Oh my god. I think I found a bug. Happened to me. Oh bums. Right. Live on stream, hybrid still, beta testing game still. <laughs> oh, actually, what? I did, oh, give me a second. What version of this game am I actually using? Okay, so I can pick it up after reload. That's good. What do you do with the big oil drills? Build them. And um, one of my concerns for the game is actually those rigs. So that I will. Ex I, I've got a video on them that's coming up. Um, but. I, in my review, I do talk about them being, if I'm going to be honest, partially useless. After you've got a mine going, they are, they're not great. But that's just me. I mean, they're okay for what you need. Oh, I don't need a table just yet. What was your favourite thing about beta testing? Um, genuinely just, like, actually, in, like, going through all the new stuff and seeing what's new and how it's all going to be used and this, that and the other, really. Mainly just doing all the stuff I do normally. Just playing the game and enjoying it. But I would say that the problem with being a beta tester for anything is you really do get burnt out on stuff. Like, I've done it for, as I said, I've done this for a couple of games now. And once you've done beta testing enough, you do get to a point where you just don't want to play the game anymore. Um, I mean, when I've been talking to Split and he's been, he's been a beta tester for Gold Rush. Partially the reason why he doesn't play Gold Rush, apart from the fact he's been playing it for so long, is the fact that when he was beta testing it, he just got bored of playing the game. So, I can sort of understand... Oh, I'll put down on the table. I can sort of understand why people get burnt out from doing it. Sled still... Oh, no, the sled is working now. You have to reload the game. I'll, 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 bug, I'll put it up as a bug as soon as I can. Unless, like, somebody else can do it. Yeah. No, I can... Yeah, there's a pain in the butt. You can't keep using it. So on reload, this is going to be really annoying. Because I'm not going to be able to buy all these pipes. We're going to have to do something a bit silly. Right. That's pipes. Pardon me. He might need a bit of help, babe. Ollie's crying. We can eat.
The downside is having to manoeuvre myself to be able to buy all this without going across the line. Right, that should be okay. Worst comes to worst, some of these might not be paid for. Well, all of them are paid for. It's all good. <sighs> right, give me a sec about the bait. Oh, I've got to go in, into the Discord quick. So, unless somebody... Um... What's up, buddy? What's up? Right, I'm just putting in a report. A report now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to. Let me just resume out. Oh, let me just resume in, and then I'm gonna go and update the game quick, just to see what happens. So let me just go on to thingy mode, chat screen, and then I need to exit out of the game for a sec. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade if, if it updates properly into like something else I haven't done yet. Uh, right, let me exit out of this. Go on to Steam. That's fine. It does need to update, so yeah. What's up, man? What's up? The thing is, is there's two of us here. You know, whilst I'm streaming, Kerry's in charge. Whilst Kerry's doing stuff, I'm in charge. Are mods still working for the DLC? I don't think so, because the base game got updated, so it's fine. How's the DLC feeling? It's feeling good, man. It's all right. I'm just... Uh, I'm patching it. So it's, it's actually physically updating now. So I'm having to wait a minute, which is fine. I have got four achievements, though, so I'm all good with that. <laughs> I'm in the 0.1% who have done achievements. Um, I, some of the mods might work on the older version of the game, but I don't think they're working on this version, which is like 3.0 now. Mm. Hot fix is going in? No, I think this is like the main patch. It should be 3.0, yeah. Oh... It is literally patching now. No, there's no tier three. Right. Do you reckon Ichi was working with mods for the DLC on this? I don't know. When it comes to mods, I haven't got a clue what's been going on because I don't really, I don't pay attention to mods in Hydrea anymore. Like, if I want something, I'll go and check them out, but I won't actually use them physically because you don't really need them. I mean, they're good for quality of life if you want to do something a bit of, but the game itself, you don't physically need mods. And over time of, like, not using them and, like, just sitting there just be like, well, you know what, we're, I'll be okay, I'll do this and I'll be like, I never really, I, I got to a point where I wasn't using mods. Like, I don't even need the, like, the, the hourglass in this because the game itself is genuinely okay. Um, right. Let's go into my properties. Um, we should be okay, that's fine. Cool, good, play. Is Max Solo developer for Hydroneer? If so, Max would mad respect. He used to be. Um, there's now five members of the dev team. So that's fine. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, the, the, the versions of Hydrogen, as as time's gone on into the game, I used less and less mods. And I was like, so why do I need them after a while? 
and it, it did get to a point it's like well i don't need all this shiny stuff i don't need this as well so why have i got it in the first place so i'm just right i can still use it that's okay then after reload it works all right that should be all right okay so i've got my pipes we're gonna need conveyor belts so I technically should be able to load up this now and bring conveyors in. We're going to need a few of these. It's going to be a bit wonky. I gotta line this up so that they don't fall off. Oh, this is really annoying. Huh? Yeah, that's not gonna look. Right, let me just try and attach this up. Right, give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, sorry, the BLB screen is a work in progress. That's why it's black in the middle. Sorry. Anyways. Do I have to play the tutorial to still in order to have the achievements work? Um, no. No, you just play without mods. That's pretty much it. Just play the game. Be happy. Right. Got four grand left. Yeah, this will make a bit more sense when I get back to the plot. <laughs> it's looking a little bit messy, but that's where it all just got stuck. I'm fine. Right, let me just go and set up some of this now. We should be alright. So to be honest, during the beta, I got quite a lot of uh, imposter syndrome, especially considering I have a slower playing style. The thing is, is it doesn't matter how fast or slow you play the game. It comes down to finding bugs. That, that's what beta testing is. That's it. That's for every single game in the world. If you're going into beta testing, all you have to do is find the things that don't work. So the way that I test a game, and I, as I said, I've done this on other titles as well, is I play as a noob. Like, if I can see if I can, like, steal stuff or I can break the game or things like that. And I, even even at, like, my pace, that's quite slow for, like, just testing a game. And that's how I find, like, bits and pieces wrong with the game. I, I just play like an idiot. And then I'll get into it for a bit. I'll play properly. And then I'll be like, okay, cool. So this works, this works, and this works. Oh, here's a bug. And that's how I've always played. That's how I've always done beta testing for everything. So it's just one of those things. The thing is, I don't tend to do a lot of beta testing much anymore when it comes to gaming because as a person who makes videos and everything else that I do, I haven't really got a lot of time to do it. So I make an exception for Hydroneer because of just how the game has treated me in the past with like the community and stuff. Genuinely, it feels like I, I sort of owe it some because of, well, what it's done for the channel. You know, without Hydroneer, this channel would probably still be kicking around on like four or five thousand subscribers, N not many views, that sort of thing. But Hydroneer has been a, a real positive thing for me, and I've actually it's it's given me a reason to play a lot, which is quite nice. 
Right, now, I'm going to put my, my pipes have to go on top because, well, that's where they've got to go. So they're going to go there, that's fine. Scudder, how you doing, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. Stick that there for now. Anything with us, anything that's a straight pipe, I'll probably just put it down here. Actually, no, you know what? Put it in here. It's a safe place. It's fine. Is it a corner? Yes, it goes down. <clears throat> this is where it gets a bit like crappy because I've got to start cutting through all the stuff I've done. Should be okay. Uh, pickaxe. Rake. Excellent. Pickaxe. Yeah, we need to cut through all this. <laughs> all the stuff I've missed. Everything. It's all good. Is there iron pi pipes on the DLC? Nope. Got another five hours of work before I can install and play. Uh, I hope that five hours goes quick. If I'm going to be brutally honest. Yeah, this is, this is why even if, like, back, back in my older days of gaming, like when I was younger, I used to book weeks off of work so I could play games. Like, it, I was that sad person, like, oh, I'm booking a week off work. Yeah, are you going anywhere nice? Yeah, my living room. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, there's no point in telling you. You're not going to get it. Most people don't understand the whole, like, gamer thing. Unless you're an actual gamer. And, uh, you know, I, I've done midnight launches in my past. I've done all stuff like that. And, yeah, that, that was just, that was all part of the fun parts of being a gamer. So, yeah, I, I would have booked off. I think if I could have, let's say if, if I was working and it'd be like, okay, cool, what am I going to do? Right, I'm going to book off Friday. Why? Oh, you know, I'm just doing things at home. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I've, I've just got things to do. And I'm literally sitting there waiting for a launch of a video game. The thing is, for me, is like the job I used to do, I would have fi I'd have finished work at like half four. So I would have actually been all right. I'd have come home and be like, cool. All right, the game's loaded. Excellent. So that would have been fine. Home by five, eat my dinner. And then I'd be like, cool. Now I can kick back and play Hydrogen Air for like the rest of my weekend. So, Bet on. Thank you very much for kicking by. How are you doing over there on, on Twitch? Most appreciate to have you here. Have fun with the DLC. Thank you very much. And subscribe with Prime for two months. Thank you very much for the support, buddy. You used Jeff Bezos' money in a very worthy cause. Thank you. Well, who's the CEO of, like, Amazon now? Because it's not Jeff, is it? He's he's stepped down as being, like, the head honcho. It's the other guy. Downstairs, pick up my pickaxe. Uh, go in hole. There we go. Huh? Bill Gates? No, no, I can't remember the dude's name, but he's it's basically a, he's the new CEO of Amazon. I just can't remember his name. It's not important. You're just using his money instead. Do need to get myself some stairs, though, so we're going to have to go to the furniture warehouse at some point. Or the building warehouse, at least. <coughs> Thank you for following over on Twitch. Fire Strike. Sounds like a cool band name. We're Fire Strike, and this is our new song. Napalm Death. <laughs> I'd be alright with that. <laughs> yeah, all-nighters are a special thing. I, I, Technically, I live my life as an all-nighter. 
Like, most of the time I'm in bed by midnight, I get up at five. So, that's always fun. You don't need brush, you just need lava. Lava melts ice. Never played that game. Right. So, I need that to come down here. My first look, I need to bring... The drills are going to sit here, so I need that's need to go down a, like one more space, I think. Sounds like a gamer, yeah. I normally go into bed at five. Yeah, I get up at the five. Between five and six, but it's half term. I'm like, no, go back to bed for like another hour. So me, me, <laughs> me and Kerry just like, go back to bed. Stop making noise. You know, it's half term. You don't need to go to school today. Leave me alone. <laughs> that's, that's like our life right now. <laughs> right, let's stick all these conveyor belts on and then see what I've got to do. Because I know I'm going to have to do some cleaning. So, uh, these... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So that's where we need that to be. Because the harvester is going to sit here. So we need to go up one more square, I think. Which is near on impossible because of the piping. So I might have to bring this down another square. Maybe. That might actually be the, what I'm going to have to do, which is going to suck, but that's fine. Okay, we need to just... Hmm. Right, harvester, I need to... I, I, I physically need something like... Look, okay, harvester is going to sit, like... It's going to have to go around the corner. It's going to have to go here, I think. So we're going to have to go conveyor belt there. So that one there... Is gonna have to go like that. This is where I actually need a harvester, so bummer. We'll have to go and get one. I'll have to spend some of my hard earned money to go and get a harvester and some bloody stairs because I don't want to keep jumping, it's doing my knees in. All right, it's fine. It's a shame I can't go. Here's one I made earlier. Hey, hybrid. Andy Jersey is the. There you go. Andy Jazzy is the CEO of Amazon now. There you go. That's the dude who you're using for Amazon money to spend on streamers. So carry on spending his money. He's okay. It's not like he's not earning anything. Right. Let's get all this off. So, pipes are us. How are you, you and fam? We're doing okay. Just kicking about. I hope I don't steal food money. Nah, you're not going to steal food money from him. Huh? He's rich. He ain't going to worry about a couple of quid being used on some old streamer. That's why it's there in the first place. Huh? That's the... That goes up there. So after you've completed all you want to do in this game, what's the next game to play? Um... Well, I was actually given a key for Lightyear Frontier, so I suppose I've got to give that a go. Um, I'm waiting for version 1.0 for Satisfactory. Uh, Planet Crafter is about to go 1.0, so that could be something else I'll probably be streaming out as well. Because I did say that when that eventually does go 1.0, I will just I will start from scratch again. We'll do like another. I will actually do like a full-on playthrough. Like I'll just go through everything, like buy everything, build everything take all that time and basically just bung it all up again. And I really enjoy the game, so it's not it's not so much of a chore, which is nice. Have you tried farming a uh, sim type? No. Like so I've got farming sim. I actually bought it because of claws and I went mm, I haven't really got around to playing it. I was supposed to do like gold version of it, never got to. I, I played Gold Rush. Or oh, sorry, Gold Mining Simulator. 
Uh, Foundry, the crust. Foundry, definitely. I, I do want to give Foundry a, a proper blast when that does come out. So, yep. I had an old Lego Star Wars set from 2018 about six years ago. I was missing around 20 odd pieces and I've ordered them uh, of Lego. Oh, cool. Excellent. Right, I need a harvester. So, that one. Farm simulate the bane of your existence. Yeah, but look at what it did for your channel, man. <laughs> you love it. You love it. No, I know. Like farming simulator is um is a proper sort. I, I would say that it, you need you need to be. I'm not going to say special, but you definitely need to have a certain mentality to be able to play that game properly. Yeah, it's a time sink. The thing is, is so is a lot of the games I play are time sinks. Like, look at like Satisfactory. I want to play it, but it's going to be like six hundred hours. Um, so Foundry. It's going to be. Fun. I've played the demo to Foundry, but I know that that game is going to be like another six hundred hours. Um, Gold Rush. That keeps me going. Like in the off seasons. Oh, when I say off season, like winter time for me is the off season. You know, I, I just want to stream for a bit. I don't care about, like, putting stuff out. It's, it's too close to Christmas. So I'll do Gold Rush because I can stream it and I can still deal with Christmas and I can still deal with the kids and it all works. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And I'm fine. But, like, when it comes to, like, stuff during the year, I, I won't play Gold Rush during the year just because of just time constraints and, like, like videos and editing and streaming and this, that, and the other. Thank you very much for subscribing. Most appreciated. I heard the bwitch, and then I I forgot where that went. So I think when you subscribe, that's on YouTube, right? Probably. Yeah, gold mining simulator. Yeah, I'm still like it's gonna it's gonna be years before like Gold Rush comes out of my head because I watch the bloody TV show. I watch it as a seasonal thing. I'll play the I'll play the game, and in my head, it's Gold Rush the game. Still, it's gonna be Gold Rush the game for a really long freaking time. Just be, it's it's just because I really like it. But it's always there. But yeah, I know some people have watched my rant video from yesterday, which I thought was pretty funny. And um, yeah, just me being sarcastic to people. <laughs> I The thing is, is I'm one of those people who can genuinely put up with playing it. So would you play Raft? I actually, I did a series of Raft. We, we did that on stream. Um, I would go back to it though, definitely. It, it did get to a point where I was like, do I really want to keep playing, though? So, I think it's because I took my time, and I was like, I'm sort of done now. I didn't have to worry too much about what I was doing. I just sort of finished, and I was okay. But, yeah, Raft's, Raft's a good game. I just think it's... Unfortunately, I would say it's probably had its time now. Maybe. Let's just go and see what we can do with this lot. Prefer the TV show. Yeah, I watch the TV show. I, I'm I'm one of those people. I watch the TV show. I play this. I play the game. I did start watching Australia gold mining as well. So I'm, I'm all versed in like gold mining everything. Fun to play again sometime. Maybe we'll just see how things go. Like Satisfactory is about to hit one point one point oh. So. That's about to be finished, so I would sort of maybe go down that route first off. The problem is, is once I start getting into a game, like let's say Satisfactory becomes like the next game I want to play, that's a lot of work. So that's going to be a lot of time of me just like, no, screw it, I'm playing this, and I'll play that for like weeks. Too much going on. Yeah, there is. I mean, the, the, the Gold Rush rebranding has started to take its place as well now, so that's a big thing. This is something that it was needed after like discoveries like end. So it's like, no, okay, cool. Now we're we're up to that point now. Right, so Yeah, I need this to face this where's the exit hole? There's the exit hole. So my conveyor belts are gonna come up my my main conveyor belt's gonna come off this way and go up. So that's fine. So I need to go up. One more level, go across, and hit into there with a, with an angle. That's going to be a T-pipe. All good. Satisfactory will definitely suck you in. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've played Satisfactory in the past. 
Um, when I was playing it, it was, if I carry on doing this, then, yeah, chances are it's going to get problematic. So, I I turned it off before I sort of like started, because I knew it was going to be one of those games. So, yeah, I, I shut that down quite quick. But, on the plus side, if, if it's just about to go to 1.0 and I'm streaming it, then it's time constraining for me. So, it's like, okay, I'll do this, 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 and this, and I'll be fine. But I'm one of those people that if I'm playing it for like 12 hours a day or whatever, then it becomes it becomes a lifestyle choice, unfortunately. Right, that can be there. That can go in there. And so that's fine. Right, next I need a corner up there. And I need another straight pipe. So this one... He's going to go there for a second. I have looked at Tectonica. It was on offer last week. I was a bit, I was smegged up about that. I was like, oh, man. I think it was only like 16 quid. So I was tempted. It's just, unfortunately, for the last few weeks, it's been, um, I want to say limiting for cash on us because of just like timing and Easter and having to do things around the house and get stuff done. It's like, yeah, it's been it's been one of those months. Yo, hybrid. In the base game, not the DLC, how do you do the quest before you have the saw for guild coins and specific weight tomato soup? Um, if you're using the hand saw, you can cut things in half, so you just have to do division maths, like divide by two, like everything. Um, yeah, that's mainly about it. If you're cutting gems, you need the chisel. And if you're cutting iron ore and if you're cutting bars, you use the saw and then just do basic division. So you're basically dividing by two each time. That's how it all works. Right. So I need another straight pipe. Da 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 da. Right, so that's gonna be my cutting platform. Someone's gonna have this, like the funny disc on it. How many like angles do I need? Um, where's my f oh, my pickaxe is down here. There's my pickaxe. Let's go back upstairs and let's cut our way through the crap. Right. As long as you're crouching, you'll be just fine. I feel like a dot matrix printer. Burp, burp, burp. There we go. Okay, so that should just about do it. Excellent. So we need one, two. Yeah, maybe one or two more angled ones, and then the rest should be all right. And now we need to put in these. Not that one. These ones. Unfortunately, probably haven't got enough of these to finish this off. <sighs> That's what happens when you don't count. And you're like, I need this many. No, nope, not going to work. You need more. And can you guys hear the music in the background by any chance? Because if you can't, I'll turn it up. Because the music's actually the game. So the reason why I'm using the game music is because it's new. And it hasn't driven me mad yet. You know, after about 500 hours, it does get to me. But, for now, it's alright. It's new. It 
Does the DLC have the glitch where you can get under the plot? No, but it has the glitch where you can see under the plot. Which, if you've never done this before, is pretty cool. So, what you do is you grab your tool, dig in about a half a square in, crouch down, and you can see into the map. So you can see how close you are to walls and stuff. It's a good way of gauging. That's what I use. That's what I do it for. And if you don't like, you just cover the hole up. So, it's all good. Yeah, so you, you can see under the map, and it's pretty cool. So you can still do that. But getting under the map is quite difficult. You have to, like, try it. I glitched through the map. Do Wales or do Walls? Wallace? Thank you very much for following on Twitch. Most appreciate to have you here. If you have any questions about the game when someone say forth, let me know. It's sort of a Q&A session because, i got to be honest, until I get things moving, it's basically boring gameplay like this. Until it's like, ooh, things are moving. The drills are working. I'm getting stuff, and it's amazing. Apart from that, yeah, it's just slow. We're setting up our first tier drill. But we have to get down to the bottom of tier one first. Because that's how it works, man. That's how it works. I don't think I've got enough of these. I think I'm a few short. Which is going to suck. And a few conveyor belt short as well. But li all I, I literally just need to set up like the last few bits. Even if I just get one drill working, it's one drill. It'll be there. It'll be done. Cool. Right. So that's going to go down one more, come across and out. So let's get a few more pipes. Pipes, 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 corners. I need a Mario hole. I know it sounds weird, but you just dig a hole straight down and you just find yourself in the, in the plot. Right. Mark Ross, thank you very much for subscribing over on Twitch. A boom to you, sir. Good use of, what was his name? I can't remember the dude's name. <laughs> oh, this is a dumb I am. Right. The guy who owns Twitch now. That guy. Thanks very much for using his money. It's most appreciated. Yeah, that's ten people of a thousand. It's going to be very difficult to fill that one up. Twitch is like, name your goal. It's like, okay, get a thousand subscribers on Twitch. Go on. <laughs> it's never going to happen. It's fine. Oh, I was going to say, I don't think I've got any more of these. Coming in late, how you doing? You're not coming in late, you're right on time, Rasha. I'm doing good, man. Thank you very much for kicking by. What plot are you at? I'm at Waterside, just because I really like this one. This is this is my plot. Like, I'm never going to be anywhere else. If, you, if you're bored of this place already, uh, good luck watching the rest of my videos. They're all filmed here. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> I like this one. This is This is like my home now. It's like South Hope. Every gameplay, every new save, everything, it will be this plot of land. Because I'm just sad. And I really like it here. It's big enough, it's ugly enough, and it's fine. Last one. Oh, we haven't got enough. Okay, let's... Um... Oh, it's close as well, actually, saying that. So the drills stand like one high. We might be okay-ish, maybe. I don't know if I've got any more conveyor belts to measure out on. So let me just grab a drill and we'll see where we're at. So the conveyor belts are going to start... The like, conveyor belts are going to go here just until I get everything running. So that's not bad. So we can run that across there. Or we're going to run it under the belt and across the bottom, which is probably what I'm actually going to do. So, up we go again. Done. Right. Um, that's a corner. Literally just trying to scrap it all together now. we got to go to a couple of different shops, probably. Because I've got no more of those. I'm going to have to put that in somewhere as well. Bums. Right, actually. Uh, I mean, that's tight. Tight like a tiger. Okay. Um, right. What we're going to have to do then. Is 
See, I, I did this. I can't even remember how I, how I did this last time now. Like, I, I'd have to go back and actually look at my old save and look at the actual way I did this. Actually, this is probably how I did it. I just don't remember. Just because I'm a donut. So that's going to be the conveyor belt across. That's, yeah, okay, that might actually might actually probably be the way I actually did it. Just it's, it's eluded me. What plot am I at? I am at um, Waterside. Yeah, it's like remixing what I'm seeing. I love Minecraft steps. Oh, I don't. Too many jumping, man. I prefer just smoother gameplay. <laughs> just, it's fine. Just don't do it. Right, so we're going to go corner and then T-pipe. Corner, T-pipe. Corners. So I need like three or four corners already. I don't, I haven't got enough corners. Everything's gone. I'm all just straighted out now. T-pipe. What are the pipes with the holes? These are lava pipes. So transporting lava to make your machines work. Quite handy. Yeah, so that's for the second one. So we'll get what we do. We're planning this out now so I can actually get, get the ingredients and things I need so I don't have to spend a lot of money. So where's my other drill? There's my other drill. Fantastic. So we're going to have to do a little bit of like hand like crafting, which is going to suck for a bit. Actually, I'm going to need. Oh, oh, actually, I need it. I'm, I'm going to need the other drill. Hmm. Right. Okay. Now I need to set up um, this. So for now, because we're using, we're on a small operation because of, well, constraints, which is basically what I'm looking at. We need to turn that into a T pipe. So I need a T pipe for this. Um, that's going to go. Um, I need to T into that one actually. Um. Ooh, la oh, it's going to have to come off there. Actually, that works. Cool. Right, we'll do that. For now, until I get my until I get my stuff sorted and I sit there and just go, oh, that's where I went wrong. This is literally how it's going to have to be connected. Excellent. Right, so we need that one and we need... Um, let's go there for that. Because that's going to go on there, so that's going to be used for that. That's going over there, so that's okay. I need a bucket into that. That's got to be a T-pipe. That's got to be a corner. No! Nope. More. Right. Until I get a full setup, because that's going to cost me a couple more grand I haven't got right now, we're going to have to do things a little bit more ropey. Right. Just hopefully we've got enough bits. Because if not, it's going to get funky. <laughs> right, actually, that goes this way. Huh? Yeah. Huh? I don't know. Huh? Uh, I hope with 1.0 in Satisfactory there is a story. Nah, there's not going to be a story. You know there's not going to be a story. It's just going to be the game. You're going to be on a planet, all of a sudden things happen and the world goes boom. And then you're going to be landing on the floor and be like, oh dear, no, now we're stuck, what a shame. Right, that's fine. Sort of, maybe. Yeah, actually, that's not bad, because now that's connected to this. Um, yeah, this is big. It's, I've got to, right, okay, need to move this. Need to move this. I need to make room. Because everything's in my way right now. God damn bugs. So that has to be teed off as well because of my thingy. When name when names come to me, I'll be fine. So that needs to go there because this runs on lava as well. So I'm going to run that there. My lava pipe is going to come across the here, which is fine. I'm going to have to run a drill next to this as well. So the drill's going to be... Yeah, I've got to do that as well. Ah, uh, Storyline is planned for in 1.0, but 100% uh, factual. What's that word? Oh, okay, you're talking on there as well. Right. I need a corner. 
basically a lot of this like first section is set up your build and make sure it just works basically right that's fine i'm gonna need to run some piping because i'm gonna have to put a drill here and then run pipe up into here as well so yeah drills run on lava so my lava drill is going to be here so that's fine we need a t-pipe for that so i need a corner for that so i need a corner for that t's down here that's fine and that's fine corner 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 conveyor belt so one i need a straight line there i'm gonna need a straight belt there um That's okay. That I need to turn into a T-pipe facing the other way. That's a straight pipe. I don't need that. That's a straight... I need that one. There we go. Donut. Idiot. Moron. Fantastic. Right. Get rid of that one. That's fine. So we need a corner onto that as well. Go up the conveyor belt. We're okay. Right. Okay, so that can be into there, and that's fine. So that's going to produce water. That's going into that. That's fine. My conveyor belt sits here. My bucket is going to sit on the end. All hail the bucket. Right. I need, a str I need one straight, one conveyor. We're going to need a couple of conveyor belts. So one straight, one vertical here. So one vertical, one straight. And we're going to need one... So one vertical there, one straight, one vertical, and a left turn. So if I buy two more left turns, yeah, bucket we're going until I get a sort. The problem is, is like because I'm running, I've only got like three grand left. Buying sorters isn't cheap, so that I'd have to do like later. But I mean, if I just buy one, then I can get like you know I can sort my gold. But I do need crap. How much is the drill? Let me just go and get the drill first. Well, that's in um, New Glade. Have I unlocked the first shop? Oh my god, I don't even know what I've done. Like, seriously, my brain is like, okay, you need to do this, right? What, what about step one? Step one is build the shop. Have you built the shop? I don't know. We'll figure that out as we go. Uh, you should release a video on how to build your South Hope build on Build Waterside. What? You should build your South Hope build? Why would I build South Hope build on here? There's no water. That That's a strange request. If I do say so myself. Right, first off, let's pick up... Let's let's get the drill, shall we? So the drill, thankfully, is only 430 quid. We need this so we can produce enough like ice for the build. So we take, uh, take this. Waddle my bum over here. Pay for it. Yay me. And then we've got enough to um, make water. We're all good. Cool. <laughs> right. Um, we're gonna need belts. We're gonna. Oh yeah, we're gonna need belts. We're gonna need pipes as well. I need more corners than anything else. I would say. Corners are like I would say like the the thing that's gonna hit me the most. We need more corners. More corners. And don't forget if you are enjoying the streams. All the videos I've done. Hit the like, subscribe, notification button below for all other updates. And don't forget, you can become a member for as little as 99 cents a month. Normally, I would have, like, little characters walking across the bottom of the screen, but I forgot to install it. So, you know, next time you come online and you're a member, you get little avatars to walk along when you, whenever you chat. It comes up, and they're pretty cool. I like them. Well, I lost my map, and now I am totally lost inside the fog. Oh, crap, no. Oh, 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 no, I don't like it. Yeah, the Barrens is horrible. Um, so, um, there are roads in, there is a road in, in the Barrens. You just have to find it. If not, just head for, head for the volcano. <laughs> or just drive in a straight line until you come out the other end. But your map, I always keep your map on you. Like, you put the map on the back of your truck. Always. Because that's where it should be. Just don't ever don't ever remove it. <laughs> it's that simple. Right. Uh, that's enough of those. 
I never ever remove my map from the truck. You get two maps. Use them well. Or go to the shop and buy another one. It was on the back of your truck. Well, if it's not on the back of your truck, that means it's not on the back of your truck. Because they don't just fall off. Nothing just falls off in this game. Uh, the way that Max has done the um, the trucks now and the pans is you can you can flip it around and it won't cause a problem. There's very little lag when it comes to like lots of stuff in pans now, which is pretty cool. Pardon me. Okay. Next, we need to buy one of those, because we're definitely going to need that. I'm definitely going to need to buy five of these. Not one of those. I don't care about the pressure, as long as things work. Right now, I need five of these. Because this is going to be easier to repair than repairing all my drills running up and down the stairs. And I don't care. If the filters die, then I can deal with that. But, yeah, I don't want to keep running around. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. That's 955 skidoodles. That's a lot of money. We're going to have enough, I think. Maybe. Hope. Cross my fingers. I may have just screwed myself over just a little bit, maybe. I don't know. The crucible has improved. Yeah, the crucible is amazing. I, I also like the um, the grating in the bottom of the um, fi uh, the furnace as well. I think that's a, it's a pretty cool touch. Can you still load the trucks on the scales? Um, sorry, I missed you. Answered something on that. Trying to work and watch. I don't. Have you ever what scales? Trucks went on scales. Did I miss something? Like, I I don't know what you're talking about. What did you miss? Uh, you've missed one hour and thirty six minutes of this stream. <laughs> That's pretty much it, man. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say to that. Right, <laughs> 1,700, I don't know, um, um, yeah, oh, well, you draw, yeah, you can, you can put them onto, the, you can put them onto the cell points, yeah, and they're more accessible in this one now, so you can actually, there, there's no, like, hidden walls and stuff, you can reverse straight onto it, if you want to, so that's up to you, um, I need to just go over and pick up some bits, I hope I've got enough time. I hope I've got enough money for this. I've got 1,700 quid left, and I'm like, I don't know how much money I'm going to have left. <laughs> I hope I, I don't think I've got a cat. I don't even think I've got a bucket of gems anywhere either. I think I haven't even dealt with those. I need two verticals, one straight. Um, no, two straights, three verticals. And a, a left turn. And a, oh, actually, I might need three to four shows. Let me. I, I'm gonna have to do this in my head, like what I need quickly, and if I've got enough money. I hope I've got enough money, because if not, I don't want to sell anything. Shouldn't have bought all those filters, man. Right. So we've got seventeen hundred. Okay. Right. That's one vertical for the thingy up the top. That's. One vertical for there. One vertical for there. So that's 900. Yeah, we're... Ooh, it's going to be tight. Tight like a tiger, this is going to be. Oh, yep. And... Left turn conveyor belt. Bums. There might be a way of doing this. We might have to use a block. Right. Huh? Max should add a shipping list function. Uh, yeah, I sort of agree. I, I don't know no well so there's never a way of fudging up in this game but I'm gonna have I might have to take a shortcut <laughs> just until I can get things working we've got 136 pound left I don't think I've got enough to buy any more I haven't got enough to buy any more conveyor belts so that sucks right we're gonna rope this together and the thing is is once I've got this working and this is the big thing once I've got this working and it's started to produce money I have no problems 
But when it comes to go out of the fog air, congratulations. Yeah, it's a pain. I don't like the Barons. The Barons is um, I I personally don't like it, and. It, when we were in the test, it was like you could go through it without really many problems. But he's turned the fog on, so it comes on a bit stronger now. And it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't really like it, me personally. Yeah, the other maps at New Dawn against the wall, and you can buy them from the shop if you really, really need to as well. New game, no ship at Volcalidus Port. Any ideas? There should be. Have you bought the Have you bought the DLC? I, I have to ask this just in case. I know it sounds bad that I have to ask it, but I just have to because, yeah, reasons. Uh, no, there's a problem. So you need to buy the DLC in order for the port to open. Why have I got that facing that way? Oh. Actually, yeah, why the hell is that facing that way? That shouldn't be facing that way. That should be facing that way. <laughs> Do not. Oh yeah, the port's there, but the boat won't be there until you buy the DLC. Basically. Right, so that's going there. <sighs> right, um, 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 oh, um. Did I, oh yeah, I did need one of these. This is going to go into this. <laughs> Chances are I'm probably just going to have to like belt that into there for now. We'll see how things go. Um, done. Right straight I just found out where I need to be what welcome <laughs> right so that's fine you like the stream so much you hit it twice uh, oh dear <laughs> right so that's I've got oh no I might not have enough convey belts it's gonna suck <laughs> Yeah, restart Steam to force the update. That, that's a good thing. Right. I do have some money. Right, okay, so I have some money. These are building materials. I need those. Actually, I don't think I need that one. Because I'm... Yeah. Hmm. Ha ha! We have cash if I do need it. After Alice, is there any more boxes to turn in? Do you have 1,250 coins? If you have 1,250 coins, you are completed with the courier mission. You are finally at that point. Congratulations, sir. You'll be fine. Right. Let's get this finished. I need another pipe down there, don't I? Right, we get this down here. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah. Right, that one goes there. I don't think I have enough coins yet. If you don't have 1,250 coins, are you still delivering boxes? Because you shouldn't be. Yeah, you should be able to... Com you, you can combine them on the back of your truck. You literally just jump them on and you're fine. The guy with a guide in his head. That's what I am. Oh, yeah. Right, we've got one drill almost completely set up and ready to go. Yep, that drill I'm going to have to put into a box. So this one for now, we're just going to have to take this off. I need a box, so we're going to have to do this. this is, we're just going to have to do this the cheaty, crappy way, which I don't like doing, but it's just the way it has to be because I suck and I haven't got, I didn't have enough money. So this is just it for now. How do you make the perfect looking staircase? Um, time, patience, a spade, and a... Um, uh, a rake and a pickaxe. That's literally it. Right, so that's fine. Rake and a pickaxe. Best friend, my best friends, basically. If you haven't got the patience to do it, I completely understand. I really do. Because it takes a long time to just do stuff like this. Why well, have I got this fin? I haven't got enough for straight pipes. <laughs> it's like, I need one more straight pipe. I'm literally just going to have to bodge this. Oh my god. I actually... Oh, I have one more straight pipe. <laughs> this is a real Mickey Mouse operation, dude. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Oh no. I've actually seen where I've gone wrong. 
We, we need one more conveyor belt. Oh, for fudge's sake. Right, okay. We're cool. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. <laughs> right, let me put my filters on. Thankfully, I have got a, I've got a little bit of money to like. We can sell off the gems, which I've got. I might sell. I've got. I might sell off the iron as well because I've got a lot of iron, and I could just get rid of it and make some cash. Almost cooking with fire. Almost, yeah, definitely. Nobody panic. Yeah, just everything's going wrong. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all well and good. Just as bad as me. No, no, it's just I've run out of money. <laughs> right, valve done. Excellent. Valve can go there for a second. We'll be all right. How are you doing, mate? I'm having a... Oh, sorry. No. Alberto. Yeah. Alberto Torres Padilla. How you doing, bud? One idea of a video you could do as a base review style video where you present your base included. But I used to do that a lot, actually. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to do the whole, like, base review stuff. I actually used to do, like, helping people. Until everyone just got good at the game. So this little scrub couldn't do them. <laughs> Don't worry, he's new to the game. Completely agree. Okay, so fine. I have got a corner for that one as well. So we're missing a conveyor belt. Or two, technically. So if I can get two, I will. If I, if I can only get one, then so be it. We'll do that for a bit. Okay, cool. So sorted. I need that actually in that bucket there. Okay, so I just need to make some quick cash, so I'm going to take my pan. Oh, no, I need that block as well. Block, go in, pan. There we go. Now, it's not going to sell for a lot, but we should get enough to build buy a conveyor belt at least. I'm hoping. And the reason why these come in really handy is because when you're going down to tier 2, guess what you need to do? You need to staircase it down again. Right, so I need to go and sell these first. So I need to go to the jeweler, and then we need to go down to Burville, and then we need to go and buy some conveyor belts. So I'll be okay. As long as I make 600 quid, we'll be alright. Uh, we all know there's a Gold Rush Pro starting in a Hydroneer world. Yep. What do you mean? I'm not even a pro on that either. <laughs> Gold Rush is... I'm not a pro. I'm like a like a, a good amateur. Hi. Thank you. Excellent. Yes, that's good. Tar very much, mate. We're no longer skin. <laughs> yeah, look, watch. You take your pile of money, you take your pile of money, and it combines in the back of the truck. It's fine. We've got two and a half grand. We'll be fine. Right, so we need Um We need one we need one straight belt, one right turn, and then we'll be all right. Professional amateur. Exactly. I'm a professional amateur. I'm fine. We'll be okay. Which shop to purchase first? Me, personally, I would go jeweler, but that's just because you can sell stuff. If you're, if you're at this place where I'm at, like Waterside, you need a jeweler close by. If you're down the other end, next to like, the Shattered Breach... Then you've got a jeweler at um, the other place, so you're not too far away from things. But that's just that's just me. At the end of the day, because I'm at Waterside, the jeweler is the more important thing because I don't want to go all the way down to Lumberville just so I can go and sell stuff. I'd rather just not do that. So I, I went for the jeweler first. Also, the jeweler is the cheapest. I think it is in resources. Like tier one store is a little bit more expensive. So, and you have to like get the resources for it as well. So yeah. And my lava's about and my lava's gonna run out soon. That's right, we'll fill up when we get back. We'll be okay, don't worry. As long as I pace myself, we'll be alright. But yeah, I do want I do wanna do like a, this this version I'm playing on right now is I wanna turn this into an actual proper build. So I'm gonna be like decorating it with like wood things and this, that and the other and generally trying to make it look cool. As well as the fact we have like like different styles of um, wooden things now. Right. Right conveyor belt, because that's going to be the one that's going to feed into the harvester. I need another straight belt there. We should be okay now. Oh, hold on. Um, no, I need a straight belt for upstairs as well. That should be enough. Worst comes to worst, we just have to do another trip back. That's all it is. That's it. It's nothing too major, you know, just drive around and get a bit more. 
Use up my lava, you know. Step one, buy all the things. Step two, exactly. Step three, profit. You just fill in the blanks with your own way of playing. That's just how life is, yeah. It's fine. You'll be okay. Just don't think about it. Turn off your brain and hope. <laughs> It's okay, the game's working, sort of. I don't know, it's not wo I'm making money, I think. Maybe. <laughs> the worst part is, is for the last one hour and 50 minutes, it's just been set up. I haven't got anything working yet. It's like, spend all my money. Cool, on what? Things. Excellent. Does it work yet? No. Why? Broken. <laughs> you should lose the fuel. Oh man, could you imagine? If you actually, if you did that... Like, all the lava pours out all over the floor and just burns the ground up. And then you, you, you're you going to have one corner in the game where it's just going to be constantly burnt. It's like, why is it that bad? That's the corner that keeps killing my truck. Ah, more lava. Just like my real car. Apart from it's not a lava light they're going on, it's my tyre pressure light. <laughs> I, need to, I need to do my tyres tomorrow. <laughs> As I was driving home, it just went bing. I'm like, oh, for flip's sake. No, I don't want to do my tyres again. I hate doing things like that. It just works. Yeah, Todd Howard logic. It's fine. It just works. There we go. Full pan of lava. We're all good. And I'll use that in my spares. There we go. Fan dabby doozy. Right, so the right conveyor belt goes up nya. I am the law. There we are. Right conveyor belt feeds into harvester. Fantastic. This conveyor belt I need to chuck downstairs and then I need to put a pipe in it down here as well. Welcome back. Uh, once a week I have to fill one out. Of my time. Yeah. So I've. The thing is, is I, I sat there and just went, uh, I don't really want to keep doing this. So I've got a, like, a really, really slow puncture in one of my tyres. I mean, it's so slow that it takes weeks and weeks and weeks for it to go down. I'm like, okay, I don't really care. So, I, and my MOT is due next month. So I've put the car into the MOT. And I'm good. You know, so it's like, it's sorted, it's done. Oh, I've come up with a problem here. So I just need to um, fill it up, basically. And I'll keep filling up the tyre. And then when the MOT comes, I need, new, I need a new rear tyre anyway. So it, it's... Genuinely, it, it'll be needed. Right, so this I can actually move. Um, that I can move, because I don't need that. I need to get rid of the snow, so let me get them a spade. Chuck this on the floor. It's all good. No one cares. It's fine. My spare pipe can go there. And this will come out one more. This is going to go up. This is going to go there. This is going to go... Not there. It's going to go there. My conveyor belt, which is there, can go here. My drill can go here. And there we go. Fantastic. Hey, Diesel. By the way. Uh, so you put the right turn on into the harvester, the wrong, into the wrong. No. Right turn. Oh, I put it around the wrong way. Excellent. Yep, there we go. Right turn into the harvester, not off the edge of the... It's fine. Don't it, it, Just ignore my problems and it, it should work. Cool. Right, let me get some of the corners, because we need to go and connect up downstairs. Uh, two hours later. It is actually physically two hours later as well, which is like, I'm really sorry. Minecraft stairs suck. Please let me have enough pipes. Please let me have enough pipes. I don't want to do this again. Right, that's one drill. One drill to rule them all. So... Oh, we have got enough by one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we are done. <laughs> What's on there? Right, last one. I'm gonna get some stairs. I don't want to keep jumping. I want to put stairs in so I can keep, so I can just run up and down. And down we go. Cool. And there we go. Right, cool, fantastic. Yay me! Turn it on. Turn it on. That's off because I've got to put a bar in it. Where's my bar? There's my bar. My bar. Yeah, I need to pick up the bar. Oh my god. Pick up the bar. Right, that can go in there. Hold down the button. Rotate. 
go in hole. If you don't go in, I'm going to get narky. Don't fall out. Oh, that's going to that's going to piss me off. It should just ah uh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> You know when you think you've done a flawless design and everything's perfect? Yeah, it's not going to work too well. Right, give me a second. Let me just take my conveyor belts apart so I can put my bloody power shard in. And there we go. Fantastic. Yay me. Right. I will be moving that. Don't worry. It won't be there forever. Like, when I get down to tier two, it's not going to be there at all. Right. Rotate. There we go. Fantastic. So they're on. That's fine. That can be shut. They're not going to work until I turn them, until I turn the lava on. Ah. Uh, stopping in to say hello. How the best for hydrogen streamer? Thank you very much. I don't count myself as the best, but mercy buckets. Most appreciate. Hardest part of the game. Putting it up. It's all good. Hey hybrid. Are you ever going to bring back the pimp my plot series? No. So the reason why I'm not going to bring it back is because, number one, people know how to play the game, so they don't need to be taught anymore. And number two, like, you know, it takes a long time. And if people know how to play the game, then they're not going to worry about watching some idiot streamer like me go, oh yeah, you got to play, turn your conveyor belt to the left so it works. It's not going to work too well. Right. Now what I need to do first off is I need to turn that off. So this literally should just turn that one on and not run the rest of my drills. And the reason why is because I need to fill this up. So we're now producing ice into this conveyor belt. So all my conveyor belts are now working. So I turn this on and now my drills downstairs are working. They should bloody be. Oh, what? They're already. Oh, yeah, they're broken because I, I didn't fix them. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, to put this into perspective. The reason why I started with so much money is because I basically worked my drills until they died. Um, yeah, so that's fun. And there we go. That's cool. Right, and now they're working. Yay! Right, cool. And now we're going to start making money. What well, about how to guides? They're all coming out. Like, over the, over the next week and a half, like, every video I bring out is a how-to guide on how things work, basically. There we go. And now, we're going to start feeding stuff into... Oh, no, I missed. And that's quite a big size for, like, nuggets. So all we need is we need, like, a good couple of grand, right? I need I just need to make money from this. And then, I can make the rest of the sorting plant and get things moving properly. So... This itself won't be finishing here. I'll actually have it laying across here. Because what I do here is I bring this up and above and then make my sorting area around this area. So it's all good. That's just the way it works. That's For me, that's just how I work. So we just need to run this for a couple of minutes and then we need to set up my um, sorter. And I think I've got one more T. I actually do. Oh... It, the the planets have aligned for this one. I mean, not technically they did. Right, that's going to burn a hole into the floor, just for laughs. Cool, right, that's fine. I need my rake. Where's my rake? There's my rake. Fantastic. So that's going to be burning off for a bit. We're fine. We're cool. Excellent. Let's put me brick down. Put me other brick down. Awesome. Twelve fifty. Yeah, you should have one thousand two hundred and fifty tokens. Ah, uh, well, not tokens. Hydro coin after you finish the delivery missions. So after you've picked up every person. So the lady at the camp, the museum, Frederick and Alice. Once you've picked up all of those and taken the money off of every single one, you should have twelve fifty, basically. 
excellent anyone else uh, here in New York is it NYNJ New Jersey who felt that earthquake don't know I'm in the UK I feel nothing Right, so we, we, I will be sorting things out. It's just this is going to get full quite quick because of just size of lumps now. This is the difference between like tier one stuff is like don't dig on the top. Just just get yourself comfortable downstairs and be happy because once you've got like two crappy drills running, these are the crappy drills. They run slow. They do everything slow. And it says like, oh, yeah, you get, your ore size is not very big. Well, it doesn't really flip in matter because the, the ore size is bigger than what you would get anyway. So always get down. Got your tier one shop. Fantastic. Get in. That's all you got to do, man. Just get it sorted. So we're going to do this for another couple of minutes. I need to make enough money to build my sorting area, which is more time I've got to spend building stuff. <sighs> Saying that, actually, um, I need to start moving things around because of that. Actually. So if I... I'm just going to put together, like, a basic crappy sorting area over here for now because nobody cares. The hardstone, I'm probably just going to leave in a pan until I get everything like hooked up. Actually, pans can stay over here because I'm going to need them for this. This can go over here because I'm going to need it for smelting. That's fine. My hardstone can come over here because I'm really not worried about it right now. Even though I do need it, but I don't need it if that makes sense. And that's going to be over here as well. So we can forge. That's my spade. Which I don't really care about right now. That's my counter for the hardstone thing, which I don't really care about right now. Is the it's the mole people? Okay. Right, I need that for later. But I actually might I might do this for money. Like iron block's good. I don't know how much money's in it. That's the thing. I haven't got a set of scales, so I actually don't physically know anything. I know nothing, John Snow. Right. Move this over there as well. Move that can stay here. Need my magnet just in, oh yeah, I'm in a pan. Right. I need this just in case I screw up here because that has been done in the past and I have really screwed up. Okay, so this this belt here is gonna be conveyor belted up and it's gonna go this way. So I'm just gonna like mark out where I'm building. The reason why I do this is just so when it comes to actually putting in the like the lines and stuff, I know roughly where my conveyor belts are going to go. If I'm out by a square, I'm out by a square. Draconian USMC. Thank you very much for subscribing over. Well, not subscribing, but following over on Twitch. It's most appreciated. Thank you very much. A boom to you, sir. Right. So I'm literally just doing this to mark out a build area. Now, for me, this works. For, as I said, this works for me because of just like OCD. But I don't know if it works for anybody else. If you're going to build a road map, build a map for yourself. But it's just one of those things. I do it for me. You don't have to. It just means the area is flat for me. It means I can put down floorboards. And I can actually put in a sort in place and be a little bit happier. Because I did something positive. Like I said, the, as I said, the problem with this DLC... And I've said this, like, I said this all the way through testing as well. It was, it's white. It's very, very white. And you have to keep, like, I have to keep adjusting the way I look at things because of just the amount of colour that's burning into my eyes. So that that's my main gripe with this. It is just, like, yeah, it's a lot of white. Oh, I just put a block in down there. How's things going? Doing good. Are the hydrosaur bone spawn locations random? There's like 70 or 80 locations for them, so you have to go find them all. But there's only 36 bones, so they're literally in the game somewhere. You know, they're just one of those things. Right.
So I ha there is a video coming out about the bones. Uh, I don't go into every location, but I go into some of the ones that will that can cause a bit of a problem when coming to find them all, because some of them are a pain in the butt. If I'm going to be brutally honest, some of them were nightmare fuel, and it's like, oh, uh, yeah, okay, cool. I think that'll do. Okay, flat area done. <clears throat> yeah, well, they, so they're they're best to try, if you try and find them at night time. It's a lot easier because um, what well, mainly be, the reason why they're easier to find at night time is because they glow yellow. So if you're gonna if you're gonna hunting for dinosaur bones, do it at night. It's easier. Like night time is like when you can start seeing the um, the northern lights. That's when you should start hunting for bones. In my head, I know roughly where most of them are, but I still get hung up on which ones are which. Right. So in order to save my lava, actually no, I can't do it because I need to, oh, I need to turn the I need to turn the lava off. My filters are gonna die like real quick. Anyway, turn that off. I'm gonna turn that off for now. Cool, right. We unfortunately now need to do a little bit of sorting. So I need to make some cash. So this shouldn't be too bad, technically. Right, Cloutium. Actually, no, where's gold? Gold's better. Gold is better to start with. It gets rid of quite a lot of it. Excellent. Uh, is the DLC fine? Yeah, I mean, I, I, as a person who's played the beta through it, I was fine. I actually give it an 8 out of 10. As DLCs go, this isn't bad. It's more Hydra If you enjoy the base game, you'll enjoy this one, basically. That's just how I see it. So I have no idea how much this weighs. I don't own scales, which sucks. So I'm going to need that one. Um... Take that off. I'm going to need... That's not iron. That's iron. Iron's better because it's just... It's a universal material. Well, especially in this game. Right. So that's going to go there. That's going to go in the middle. Excellent. And then we do this again. Fantastic. Right. Now I do have a bar of iron. Now Where did I put my bar of iron? Where'd I put it? I have a bar of iron somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's up there. Um, donut. Right, chuck that in there. It's okay. That's okay. Now, the main reason why I don't sell iron is because you need it to build... Um, you need it to build shops to start with, mainly. Iron's like a big thing, so you need it. So when it comes to the tier th tier two and three, tier three shop, you need the iron. So that's what I'm mainly keeping that around for. Um, you don't need it forever. You just need it to start with. Right, I need um, cloudium. I want to say. Right, is that done? Did I forge that already? I did, yeah. Donut. Put it up on the shelf. It's fine. Right. Just installing new M2 and reviving an old dying mechanical. Oh, cool. Have fun. Right. We need... If I just go Cloutium and core stone now, we should be okay. Take one off. Don't do two because it's not going to work probably. Do Cloutium if we can. If I can't, then there isn't any. It's that simple. There's no Cloutium. Oh, man. Cloutium's a pain in the butt. Right, okay. okay. What about Core Stone? If there's no Core Stone, then we're literally just down to, like, shards and bloody um, 
stone, like hard stone. Bully for me. I don't think there's anything in here. I think it's just shards and yeah, bums. All right, okay, cool. I can go over there then. Um, yeah, All right. Hard stone is the last one because we don't need anything else. Everything else is just shards and actually, I do need to separate the shards off so we can get more batteries. Done. Right. Boom. So I'm going to leave this to the side for now. Because I haven't got enough pipes to set this up. I need that set up really. Will you be making a video on the abandoned miners? Yes. Um, there is a video for it already. I haven't released it yet. But we will be getting there. Basically if it's in this game and you've questioned it. I've probably made a video about it. It just comes out between tomorrow. Because like tomorrow there's three videos coming out. On Sunday, there's two videos coming out. Uh, Monday through to next Friday, there's a video a day coming out. And I think I've got like another one out for Saturday. And my review's coming out for it as well. So, yeah, I've basically just turned it into a content farm for myself. Which is fine, that's what I'm supposed to do. Covering the game, making it look, making it look all right. Giving my honest opinions about it and just, uh, yeah, being all good. Need the pan. Need shards. We separate the shards and then we sell the rest. Don't need a wheel for this. Excellent. So even though they're, they are proper chunky now. Chunky. Boom. Go, go, go. That can go up on my shelf. Ta da! Right, okay, cool. I need to see a video of you driving the Harley motorcycle. It's not Harley, it's got a, um, a, a like a tank chain to it. It's pretty cool. I like it, personally. It's a good little addition. I haven't got a saw, so I'm, I'm going to have to turn this into a bloody dagger. See, these are things. I haven't got a toy, I haven't got a tool rack, so I haven't got a saw. I haven't got the things I need to make things. I just be like, whatever. What do you guys have your gamma set at? I think eight is good for me. Gamma, what, for this game? Um, 2.6? I don't need a lot of gamma. Too much gamma, bad for me. I don't even, I need um, the thingy to go on there. I need conveyor belts, I need everything else. I'm like, yeah. I'm a little bit behind of what I would normally be doing, but that's just because I've spent too long faffing around, if I'm going to be brutally honest. And at this rate, actually, what I should do is disconnect my lava. Yeah. Right, so we got ourselves a dagger. I might sell the iron. And the iron, I can, I, I can get the iron back whenever, you know. So I might just sell the iron off now and just be like, you know what? We need the cash. I need to build a massive sorting area. Iron's going to be good. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing that. I'm selling the iron. Because I've only got 1,831 left. And I need a sorting plant. So I need all... I need this, uh, the sorters, everything else. I need, I need to sort my conveyor belts out. Just basically need to get a, a, a whole plant automated and done. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Because we haven't got enough stuff on us to unlock tier 2 yet. So I just I need to basically set everything else up. So I'm going to sell everything. Build a sorting plant. Keep it maintained. Let's go. Let's go. What is that on my screen? Get off. Yeah, the, the brightness is one of those things. Mine's like... It... it Thankfully, my lens is like a slightly grayed any, anyway, so I don't really get a lot of problems. But yeah, I, I can understand it. Like turning the gamma down is just needed, unfortunately, with this game now. Right, how much is all this worth? 12 grand. How much is the iron bar worth? Wow, actually, that's not bad. So it's like 7,000. Seven grand for iron. Let's go. 
We've got 12,000. We might have enough. We've got 13, uh, nearly 14 grand in total. We have 14,000. Right. Even if I just build half, I still need smelters. One, two, three. So when you unlock the tier two store, everything you buy is tokens, by the way. It's not this. Right, gold, iron, clautium, core stone, shards, 6,600. I'll be buying the rest of it later. Just, I want to get this bit. If I can get this bit done now, then it becomes partially automated, which means the rest, like, jewels can just, like, end up in a pan for all I care right now. Why can't I use achievements? It's X out. You should be able to. Unless you've put it on creative mode accidentally. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, do you have mods? Yeah. Uh, if, if you have mods installed or in the packs files, then that could cause a problem. Apart from that, I don't physically know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. If, I would look in your packs file just in case you have got like a remnant in there somewhere. Because that can happen. Also check the mods on the actual like thing as well. But you can, there, there are like sleeper files that occasionally do mess around. Ah, thank you very much for subscribing. Much appreciated. I know why I'm not getting like push notifications now. Botrix isn't working. Let me just go and turn Botrix on. Botrix is dead. <sighs> Botrix isn't working because Google changed the way that everything works. So you have to consent to everything now. It's like, I consent. Yeah, there goes my, uh, my, my, my lovely. So Botrix should just start working. I hope so. Widgets, chat. Yeah, that's fine. I don't even is that D Live? Well, I don't I don't need that. I just need YouTube and Twitch and we're fine. Yeah. So that should be okay now. Botrix, it's working. Excellent. Don't forget the mini people. Yeah, I can't turn those on because that means I have to I have to turn this game off and then turn on that as well. I will put those on in the next one though. Don't worry about that. Well, okay, you can worry, but it's not gonna make any difference. Okay, so we can get half our sorting section set up. We need um, six sorters. Yeah, six sorters because we have to sort hard stone as well. And then we need a couple of like conveyor belts, a load of piping. <laughs> when it's all done, I'm fine. I never have to do a sorting plant again. Unless I really have to, but yeah. Sorting plants are a pain. I don't mind them, they're just it just take a long time to set up because there's a lot of faffing around. Okay, so I need one of these. Um, left turn. These are the alternate ones, so I need um, six. One. We're gonna go that. Yeah, that's that's right. Yep. 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 Three. Four. Five. Five. Six. You stay. That's three grand. That's not bad. Right. I don't know what pipes I need, so we'll probably what I'll do is I'll try and put as much of this together as possible, and then if I need anything else like pipe wise, then I'll just pick them up. I'll come back here and pick them up again. The problem is, is this is the closest place I can get to that sells pipes. 
The other place that sells piping is like the other side of the island, down in the shattered outpost. I'm like, I don't really want to go over there. That's that's a bit pointless. So I'm all good. Okay, so that's all of the conveyor belts I need. I also need one of those. A polisher. So at least then we're getting polished stone, which is what we need. It makes more money. Even if it's a little bit of extra cash, we should be fine. <sighs> I don't know what pipes I've got, and I don't know what I need left. So let's stick all this together first. And let's go from there. At least if we can get like this section sorted, so we just need to build a small conveyor belt to go up the side. I might need to turn my ice maker around, or just put it in a different place. Because it is going to interfere with my build. Maybe, just a little bit. We'll see how things go. And then we have to try and pipe into that as well. Oh yeah. It gets more fun when you do more stuff. It really does. Right. Awesome Jelly over on Twitch. Thank you very much for following. It's most appreciated to have you here. Right. Okay, so I pro I won't need the hand sorter anymore. So we can technically get rid of it. I don't need it anymore. So I will take out my crystal. I will take this and put it in my scrap pile, which is basically there. That's where my scrap pile is. Fantastic. I'm going to need this. We'll stick this together on here. Right, we're done. Cool. That's going in my spares just until I get stuff sorted. I need to move this around because we need to change the where, which direction it's facing. And then we can start building things together. All this over here. Excellent. Okay, cool. Now. Brain work now. Let's go. Right. I need this facing this way. That's why. Um, we'll take this off. Just until I get... I need to get all the pipes sorted first. The drill itself is actually going to be sitting... Here. Later on I'll get two in because it's easier to do two drills into this. Because you get your two crappy ones. And you feed them into this. And then you don't have to worry about like messing around with too much stuff then. It will just start... It just starts to work better when you've got like... The, the crappy stuff just feeding ice, whereas like the bit the better drills are downstairs making you money. That's just how it is. So that's how we're gonna go. It's our roll, baby. Right. Is there a lava truck Mark II? No, but there is a hauler. The hauler is a beast. I like the hauler. Right. So that's going over there. This is going on to this. Well, when that gets moved, that's going on to here. We're going to put this one here. <sighs> yep, cool. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Right, that's my ice feeder, so that's good. Cool. And done. Right, ice feeder's in place. Ten points for Gryffindor. Next. So, because the ice feeder is now working that way, we just need to corner this up. And then that feeds straight into here. And that's going to go there. We need that one. Right, that's going there. Now I need... I did have two conveyor belts here. Where's the second? There it is. Donut. Imaged. Imaged. Right. Okay, that's fine. That's going to go up. 
I might run out of corners, but that's fine. I knew I was going to run out of corners. I just didn't know when. So, vertical. That's up there. So, this is where I run out of corners. Which is fine. I'm pretty sure I don't have any more. Yeah, pretty sure. What we will do is we're actually we're gonna need some, we're gonna need some more of other stuff. What I'll try and plan out as much as we can. So I need a corner off that, and that's gonna be that one. Oh, I right, fell in a hole. Fantastic. Right, so that's gonna come this way. There. Right. Excellent. So this has to sit. So the problem with this is that you need to um, you need to give it enough room to run on the lava and logic at the same time. So lava's got to come in this side, and lo logic has to come on one side as well. So that's going to go there. The first sort is going to go here. Yeah, it's all fun and games. This. So this is where you have to sit and go. Oh, I have to think. Damn it. Right, so that conveyor belt is going to go there. That's okay. That sorter is going to go up nya. And then that's hardstone. Cool. Now, the reason why we bought the blanks is because you can't put a smelter here because you need to carry lava to this. So the smelt your next smelter has to be like one square away. So this one has to sit physically there so you can bring lava down the side. Why is the game still downloading content? Um, patches? Let me just check my... Um, let me just check Discord quick. Say if anything actually came through. Uh, we've put out a patch to fix the following issues. Yeah, so they've, they've patched it since. So there's actually a patch out for this game. It went in at 7 o'clock. So there's... Yeah, there's another patch. Have fun. There you go. Right, so that's my smelters. Shards, gold, iron, cloutium, core stone. Oh, yes. We need more straights. Isn't there a new resource you can get? Yeah, I've done it. You can get everything with the re you can get everything with all the resources. I think you can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. You can get it from all the tiers. You got hard stone, shards. Yep, it's all. Yep. Okay, so we've run out. I've run out of um, piping, which is not good. So we need to go and get some more pipes. This I need to attach to my conveyor belt, which is going to go there. That's awesome. I'm actually going to get a centralizer to stick on there as well. Actually, that will help. Right. Next, I need to stick this on there. Bring that out here. And I'm going to need to bring that into here, so we'll just have to tie this in. I haven't got any more. I haven't got any more lava piping, so that sucks. I do have a tea pipe though, so let me just in my head build a shopping list of things I need. It's like going to Asda. Cool, right? So for now, that's what I need. So I need to put that one there. I need so one straight there. I need one straight, two, three, four. Five, five straights, one corner of lava. We should have enough cash to get all that. That's perfect. I'll leave this here because I don't need it. Okay, 
and then we'll put my tire my Uh, you can show you can clone the drills in the in the shop no you can't clone them you can build them you can't clone them right 3800 so I need a couple of pipes mainly mainly pipes get the conveyors sorted we should be okay right so first off you shouldn't be able to clone anything out of the shop unless you're on creative mode. If you're on creative mode, yeah, go for it. But literally, as soon as you buy a drill, they're done. You can't do them. Because they get locked off. Like, they're chained. Well, I can go and do it now. You can't clone them. You can build them at the, at the volcano. Check the Discord in a minute. Well, if you've broken the game, Max will fix it, like, quick. Someone's already made a penis out of snow. That means they run out of like lava. There are too many messages already. Should I create a new save for Volcalidus or just you can you can just carry on. After the patch just now, my achievements are working. Fantastic. Yeah, so what am I looking for? Um, the look into the car karma said it all. Oh, camera. Yeah, well, I'm not seeing anything that's actually, like, saying that people can claim that. Uh, If you're playing in the... I don't know. But for me, they're chained. And I can't take them out of the shop. They're done. And if you get... I would put that down as, into the Discord. Unless you re... As said, I'm not seeing anybody that's done it, though. And nobody's reported cloning of drills. I don't really care. The diff the thing is there is that that will be something it, if it doesn't get reported now needs to be reported. Actually, you know what? There you go. Do I have one? I haven't done that one. Uh, save and return to main menu. Let's, let's go for a second. I think I might have a save where I haven't bought any drills. I don't. Th I think so. No, this one might. I might have already done that. I'm not starting again. I've got drills here, so that's bad. No, I haven't got a save with just no drills in it. I think I did. I did try and start a new one. Um, <laughs> um, 
test run was that's very much completed. Guide is where I'm up to. Season one backup, that's where we're playing now. Yeah, I don't have one. Because I would test it. Or we could just... Give me a second, right? Let's just do this as a test. Because if this works, then I'll report it up. And it'll just be like... You'll not be able to do this again. Right, let's just get to Volcalida straight away, and we're just going to skip through, get to town, and see if this works. If you can clone drills, then I'll report it, which means it'll get fixed. Let's have a look then, shall we? So here we go, public beta testing straight away, right now. Like, let's see how things go. So did you send it on my Discord or? Kind of logs, right? Cool. Right. Excellent. You shouldn't be able to clone drills. That's the thing. Yeah, there probably is. Or what I'm going to do is avoid it. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to go through the cutscene. Just don't talk to him and you don't have to do it. So what I'm going to do is, I think there may be a patch, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll have to like drop out of this quick, and then if the game needs patching, I'll update it. So this is beta testing live. The deeper you dig, the better the resources. Good for you, mate. Cool. So let me just come off the game quick, save and return, come off the game, and then I will. Um, I think it needs an update because I think there was a patch. I think we'll have to have a look. Quit the game. Go on to Steam. Let the hydrogen turn turn itself off. Fantastic. Am I still? I think I'm still. I need to try something quick. Oh dear. Right. We'll do that another time. Play the game. So that's fine. There was no updates. That's okay. Did you happen to know where the best place to report bugs are? Their Discord. Like straight away. Just go onto Hydrogen's Discord. Not mine. 
I don't need the tutorial. Um, Alright, so we're loading this one up. Bam, 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 bam. You take one, then take the other out of the shop, and when it disappears, both of them are unchained. Right, okay, cool. So I take one, I take one out of the shop. a bit cheaty that is apart from if you take this one out that's not good man Yeah, that's a bug. That's a big bug. So that would be the way that um, Let's Game It Out would actually break the game. Definitely. Anyways, come on, I'll just skip out my Discord for a bit. Not a bad King Grav. How you doing, bud? Right, let me just go back to my normal game now. Yeah. Well, that's what I've just done. I've just uh I've just reported it. So let's just hope it works. Right, anyways, Volcanodus season one. Let's go back to my game. And then me struggling with the water. By the way, 100 viewers. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. Most appreciate it. Tip of that to you all. Oh, me ears. Me ears. Whew. Right, okay, cool. So what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Right. Stay. I'm going to buy enough of these just in case I need to do something else. Probably don't need to, but it's always good to have extras. How much time before you get your point in progression, do you reckon? Uh, what do you mean, sorry? Should be that. Uh, we had an earthquake in the east coast this morning. Yeah, it sucks. I'm um, someone. Someone mentioned it on here. Yeah. How much time played until you're at point of progression? Oh, so you mean for like? Uh, do you mean going from like uh, new dawn to hit like your next plot, or from this plot down to tier two? Because that progression comes down to however fast you're like running your game. Like, for me, I'm taking my time because I've got to be honest, I've done this like three or four times already. So I'm just sort of enjoying the game now, which is quite nice. You know, just chilling. 
It's all good, but you could. Pr it needs. I reckon if you played the game for, I don't know, like four, like thirty hours, I would say, you're probably looking at basically having everything done. At the moment, I'm just like I'm chilling. You know, I'm just I'm really not in a rush. I'm getting all my stuff done how I can, when I can, figuring out as I go along again. Because the, the problem with, like, as, as I said, the problem with testing games like this is that I've spent a long time faffing around with this game. Now I'm just sort of like, you know what? I'm enjoying it. Just chill. That's all I need now. Just need to take my time, you know? Yeah, Diamond's new, but Diamond isn't base game, so Diamond can only be found on this island. How does that differ from base game to DLC? Um, so if if you ever played like version 1.7 of Hydroneer, which at fairness was pretty solid when you had Goliath drills, electrical systems and that, that's basically what I've seen this, where you have to use a water system to, like, to power your belts, you have to use a lava system to power your machines, and you've got lava drills which are basically general tier so that you can put them down on anything and then your heavy drills basically are ramping up so they're a bit like goliath so you just don't need the extra stuff on the bottom i would technically say this is like it's a mirror of like tier three like um 1.7 plus it's got all the extras that come with just modern day game so it, it works as well it's solid like there's not as much lag anymore, which is quite nice. It's got you can stack your truck up quite a lot, which is quite nice. You can chuck in a load of stuff into an actual like pan, and it doesn't lag as much. And even if you put uh, loads of items in a pan, it takes like a second to load everything, and then you pick it up and run away. Oh, I would say that you can probably progress faster in um, the base game. Genuinely, like to put this into perspective. Uh, I can go from Ember Cradle to South Hope within an hour. Like, that's quite, that's very fast. That's my pace. There are people who can do it faster. There are people who can hit a million dollars in an hour. But with this version of the game, the, it, there's a few extra steps to do stuff. So it just, it sort of takes you a little bit longer to do things. If that makes sense. Right. Now, can I do other things here? I need another sled. I keep buy I bought a sled and I never bring it with me. You bring a shopping cart, right? Always bring a sled with you. Right. Uh, I need one of these. Right. So I need. I need a poxy table. Stand on edge. There we go. Need that centralizer. Uh, what town are you in? I'm in Burville. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I need a right turn. Right turn. And then I'm gonna need emerald, ruby. Sapphire, Onyx, Diamond. I don't think I've got enough money for it all, but it'd be worth it. Yeah, I didn't think I would. I definitely need that though, so I need that. 
Don't need this. We'll just start getting rid of some of the more expensive stuff. 3,600. 3,200. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Three grand. It's all good. We'll take it. Thank you. Come again. Right. So I've got enough piping. I've got enough bits and pieces. We should be able to, like, rock and roll now. Like, for a little while. Until we need everything else. Cool. Next is a... Uh, we need to just basically finish off the sorting area. But I'm going to need more money for that. Which means we need to run the belts for a bit. And then... We need to make up the um, self-repair system. Basically. Should be alright. Two hours and fifty minutes. If you're enjoying it, hit the like button. See if we can get ourselves to like 70 likes. There's 101 of you in the chat. Go on. You can do it. I don't mind if you're not talking. Lurking's completely fine. This is a work in progress. Them done. Cool. Sixty eight. That's close. Right. I need. Oh, I need another straight. Oh, no. I forgot to buy a straight belt. I need a straight for that bit. <sighs> bums. Bums, 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 bums. How much money have I got left? Oh, no, actually, I do. Oh, no, that's a corner. Don't. Don't, 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 136. That's not good. Is not good. Right. Uh, so now you need two types of power, lava and water. Yeah, la water is for your um, belts, mainly. Ah, that's going to... I'm a little bit annoyed about that. I've left a conveyor belt. I need a conveyor belt. The only way I can actually... No, there is a way I can do this. Right, okay. So, we're going to have to be a little bit cheeky. <laughs> Anyways, right, so what I need to do with this is I need to put something on top of that just so it splits off. So if I put hardstone, no, I don't want to put hardstone there. I need to put like onyx on there or something. Is this game worth it? Well, okay, so you're looking at like, what, 12 quid for base game, £8 for DLC. 20 quid for a game that's going to take you around... I don't know, you're going to be quite happy with like a hundred thousand hours, well, you're, gonna, you're not going to hundred thousand hours, but you'll do enough, and you'll be like, okay, cool, I'll be fine with that, I'll be cool. Yeah, actually, the dirt idea is a good thing, that's oh stuff. Alright, so this is this. Eh. Right, I need to put this on the next one over. Cool. So this one is for that one. That's fine. Uh, we're going to do gold on this one because you get lots of gold. I'm going to put iron on this one because, well, iron's the next one down. Then I've got cloutium. I'm going to put cloutium. Oh no, we'll put shards there. Sorry. Cloutium goes there. Core stone goes on the end. And then shards go in the middle. Because you get quite a lot of shards. So we're all good. And there we go. That should be everything sorted out. My first DLC bug reported. 
yeah, I've chucked it up into the um, the nerd chat, so we'll find they'll find it. Done. Welcome back, Claws. Right, so for now, Gems are going to come out of there. That's fine. Right, excellent. I wonder if they've spoken to me yet. You can't buy all of them, though. I don't think. Hmm. That's the other thing that Itchy's just said. Can you actually like, can you actually buy buy the drills, or are they just like in, and you only buy two of them? You should be able to sell sell the shards. No, they're batteries. You don't need shards. Shards are just power. You don't need anything else. It's just power. Seventy-one likes. Thank you very much, guys. A boom. Okay, so everything's all hooked up and ready to go. We're going to chuck this in here. Because I can't. Oh, yeah. Bug. Damn. Poo. Arseholes. That's my fault. That is because I didn't turn the lava on. Let's just try that again when the machine's actually running, shall we? I like this as well. Actually putting stuff into a pan works now. Huh? Right, I'll do that when I've got my lava flowing. Right, cool. Should now technically be able to make this work. Yeah, the magnet works so well. I like it. Right, turn this back on. So now... It should just work. There we go. Right. Now just block off any signals now. Because we ain't gonna get any ice blocks through this. It'll just it'll just stream through now. Magnet works wonderfully. I like it. And now we've got all this stuff now being like thrown in. Should be fine. 167. Perfect. And there we go, that's the first half of a sorting plant done. And we'll, I'll just run this into the dirt now. So we should, we should be able to make a decent amount of money off this. And then we'll be good. And then the next step from here is to set up the jewel section, which means getting compressors in and like making sure everything else works and doing all that. And yeah, basically just lots and lots of bitch work now. You asked if you can buy the dupe drills, and my answer is yes. Okay. Yeah, but can you only buy two of them? That's the thing. Can you buy two? Can you buy two drills, or can you buy them all? That was the whole thing. Because that's what he said. Well, he said he. That's what he asked. You can buy infinite. Yeah, but can you buy them, or can you just dupe them infinitely? Right, okay.
Anyways, half a sorting plant done. It's all good. So they're working. So my next step after this is to literally cut straight down. So I'd, what I'm gonna do, because I'm just I'm gonna leave this running for a little bit just because I can. Um, I'm gonna start. Oh no, I can't because I haven't got tier two tools. Damn it! I need my tier two shop. So we need to start, we need to start like saving up for that. So that's mainly I think it's iron. I think there's a little bit of clautium involved and a little bit of this, and that's literally it. So. Something so satisfying about watching the machines. Yeah, I mean they're pretty cool. I like the drills in this as well. That's you know, it it's aesthetically pleasing. That's the word that's that's the word I look for. So unfortunately with this I need to turn that into a straight bolt, but I haven't got a spare one. Which sucks. And all we gotta do now is wait for a little bit. On the plus side, I can now get rid of uh, this goes in my scrap pile. Yay! Scrap pile! And I've got some sorting out to do. Ooh. Scrap pile! Whoa! And then we need to build our, our um, auto repair. Is it good? I just bought. Um, yeah. Graphics have been improved. Yeah, I mean, the game generally it had a little bit of like an upgrade for like graphics. It's generally working a little bit nicer for people now. So, all in all, yeah, the game is just, it works a lot better. You know, it's just one of those things. So... It, you know, I mean, people. Are, the thing is, is I know people are going to get annoyed with the fact, oh, it's more Hydran Air. Oh, the one big thing was when this was announced, people were just like, well, why is the game getting a DLC when the game's not finished? What do you mean it's not finished? Oh, well, there's not enough stuff in it. It's like, it's an indie game. I mean, you're not expecting, like, EA quality title here. You're looking for a game that's just going to keep you going. It's a sandbox game. It has no actual story. Oh, apparently it's going to be uh, fixed in the next patch, so it will be done. So, if you want to break the game very quickly, now is your time. Because <laughs> as soon as it gets patched, it won't work again. Um, yeah, so, the game itself is a sandbox game. There's no end to the game. You just carry on playing. So all these people are like, oh, well, you shouldn't need a DLC. We just need, like, new content. So the DLC is to make money for the studio so the studio can upgrade the game or carry on doing whatever they're doing for the base game. What people don't realise and what you have to think about, and I mentioned this in my Gold Rush video last night, or, sorry, Gold Mining Simulator, is that when a DLC comes out for a game, if you buy it, you're supporting the studio in future endeavours. So if you're going to buy the DLC, you're helping the studio, which means they can pay for their employees, because Max has people to pay. Uh, you know, he, ha he has to pay them a living wage so if, if they're full-time employees. So, yeah, you have to pay your staff, then you've got to pay for development, and then you've got to pay for resources, and then you've got to go into like more other stuff. And then it, let's say they're going to bring out like some more updates that are going to be free for the base game they've still got to pay the people to build those things so the dlc it's eight pound fifty uk right and i don't know i can't remember what it is for other company uh, for other countries and i'm sitting there just going it's eight pound fifty if you get let's say a hundred thousand people buy that after tax and everything else max can pay for the staff and they can advance the game a bit further maybe give it an upgrade or two and you just got this is how i see gaming and i, I come from an old school type of game when it came that when we were officially getting like DLCs and expansion packs, it was like we're generally helping out the studios who build them. Now, game the game industry has become so corrupt. It's like everybody is like, it's like oh, we know we need money so we can like you know pay for our shareholders. This doesn't have shareholders. It's just like five people. Like some of them are full time, some of them are part time, and they just make a video game. You know, they're literally this is their job, so they do need to be paid. 
yeah, it's it's pocket money. Eight pound fi eight pound fifty. When I looked at, it, I just went, well, I mean, shit. I'd yeah, I'd be alright with that. Yeah, I I was expecting a tenner, if I'm gonna be brutally honest, because the, the like the number that was floating around was ten pounds. So yeah, I, I was it was almost right. So eight eight fifty for a DLC, and it's as big as the base game. So if you played the base game for a hundred hours, you already got your money's worth out of that. And now you're paying £8.50 for this. And let's say you put another 100 hours into this. You just spent less money on more game. So I don't understand what people's problems are with this. I Admittedly, yes, some of it is a bit more convoluted. Where you have to buy a shop to do this. But that means you're going to be playing it for longer. It means you're getting more out of your money. And that's a good thing, right? Right? I would have paid for it anyways. Yeah. Like, I, I'm going... What I'm going to do, because I got... In fairness, I got this for free because we were beta testing it. So, at some point, I will when I can when I can afford to, I will buy a copy for somebody else, or I'll just send them a Steam voucher and just say, "Look, go and get the DLC." Just because I feel like I've I sort of robbed the company by working for them. It was like, "Hey, you got it for free?" I was like, "No, I, I was going to buy it." I felt I felt really dirty. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I, I was literally going to buy it myself because I was like." I'd rather like support. I'd rather support the studio, so I sort of wish Max basically set up like a PayPal fund. It was like, can I just pay you a tenner? Because like I'd I'd feel guilty. But yeah, every beta tester, every beta tester basically got the opportunity to get this for free because we put like weeks and weeks of work into testing. So it was quite nice of Max to do that. He didn't have to. I mean, I was quite. I think all of us, when we were in the actual, when we were in the beta, we were sitting there going, "We would pay for this," because you know that's what you know, that's what we were doing. We we were quite happy to even if we were just playing the beta for free, we were genuinely happy to do this. We were willing to pay. So that does it goes to show the dedication for us lot. It was like we would have paid for my, we would have paid for this genuinely. Don't forget to fill the truck. With what? I need to fill the truck. The truck's fine. My truck, uh, I have, I've not got a problem with the truck. I'm about a third in. I'm okay. Yeah, we're okay. I saw somebody on the Discord already run out of fuel. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I I laugh. At the same time, you did Q and A for free. Yeah, exactly. We did Q A for free. It's fine. Yeah, I mean the quality assurance stuff. I actually this I don't mind doing it. And the reason why is because I'm. I think the reason why I don't mind doing it for Hydrogen is because Hydrogen is one of those games that I've always played. I've always enjoyed. I've never really ever got bored of it. I've taken time out from it, but I've never got bored of it. So when I was just testing it, it just felt like I was playing the game again. It, it doesn't really. I don't, for some reason, this game for me is just. It's like OCD fuel. It's fine. It works. It's good. And I haven't got a problem with it. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. I have got a cork somewhere, actually. Where's that cork? It's in here somewhere. No way! Bad Wolf. A oh, boom! Thank you very much for the super. It's most appreciated. Buy a few games and do a giveaway. Thank you very much, buddy. It's most appreciated. I have to wait until the end of this. Hold on. I'd have to wait until the end of next month. <laughs> Me as well. I always find myself coming back. I think it fuels the creativity part of gaming. Yeah, it's cool. Like the yeah. So the problem with like I, I will say like the problem with super chats is that I have to wait and well YouTube's just taking a cut of that, and I will see that end of next month. So in May. So yeah, but thank you very much, buddy. It's most appreciated. And there's my cork. My cork has just found it. It's, it's amazing. So I will stick that in the hole. Oh no! My filter has died. Back to the grind. There we go. Beat on 0815. Yeah, you're from um, yeah, Twitch. Thank you very much for kicking by, bud. Like some show some love in the chat as well. Bad Wolf just donated a hundred dollars. Thank you very much, man. I have I got a I don't think there's a hybrid still heart in the old like emojis. 
Throw up some like pickle ricks and stuff if you if you remember. If not, a couple of hearts from the like the bog standard chat will be fine. Right, so I literally just have to wait for a minute. I think when the fuel when the fuel will blow. Well, actually, you know, I just want to go now. I want to get all my stuff done. I still haven't got a bloody saw. Oh fudge! We're going to be building the biggest like dagger out of all of this. The biggest gold dagger. I got a little bit of clouting, so and we still need scales. Oh man, I still need loads of stuff. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the fiery heart. Is that? But that's a standard emoji out of the old chat. Isn't it? I like it. Might have to do one for myself. Where can I get the auto saw? Um, any shop. Any shop that sells like the lava parts. There's an auto saw there. And in the conveyor belt shops as well. Which I haven't done yet. Which that that's part of this setup, which I haven't got around to doing. Oh uh, yeah, so we've got a lot. To, we've got a lot of stuff to do. I still need to finish off the sorting area, and then I need to put the auto saw build together, and then we need to put the auto repair kit in, and then a floor up there. And hopefully, at that point, actually, we might be able to do like tier two stuff. But I don't want to. I don't want to rush to tier two. I think tier two will be like Saturday or Sunday stream. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to be a little bit later on because I've got to take Ollie to a birthday party. So I won't be back here until half seven. I won't get to start streaming until eight. So, yeah. What I might do is I might just run the build for a little bit. And then when you come online next time, it'll be, okay, we can build, we can buy this, 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 and this. Matt, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Thank you very much for kicking by. 111 people. Can we get to 80 likes? If you haven't liked it already, eighty is the next is the next like milestone. Still haven't got any core stones. Oh yeah, we're not in tier two yet. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> right. I think I'm gonna pour me some lava. Pour me some gold. I don't know how much is here, but I need to heat the bar up. We need to go and get some money. When I first saw the flamethrower tank, I thought one thing, bulldozer. Yeah, it does look like a bulldozer. But it's... So the the actual tank works without the tanks on the back of it. But you can only melt, um, like, tier one. So it'll bore down to tier two and not burn anymore. If you want to burn down through tier two, you have to go... You have to earn the tier two shop. And then you have to um, buy the tier two canisters to fit on the back of it. And it will burn down to tier two, and then when you want to go to tier three, you have to buy the canisters at the tier three shop, and they're they're token based, so they're really expensive. <laughs> I was like, no. Do you need to replace them? Yep. <laughs> it's expensive. I'm quite happy using the roller. If I'm going to be brutally honest, the roller will get me far. Yeah, I'll be I'll be perfect with the roller. Right, I'm going to replace my bucket here. So this. No! Oh, that was close. That was actually that wouldn't have made a blood. That wouldn't have made a, a, a small amount of difference. That's fine. Right, we'll take this with us. We'll go and sell all this crud off. So the other thing is, is my paranoia is dead in this one. I don't need to worry about leaving the thing running. The only thing that's going to break is the filters. So I'll be fine with that, which is good. So all I've got to do is just chill. It's fine. Uh, over the rails and far away. Ooh. Oh, we got hung up. So there are relics in the game as well. I haven't found... I found one of them. I know where that one is, but I haven't found the other five. But there's one relic in every single plot of land. So have fun finding those. Hi, I need you to buy that off me for like eight grand. And all of these gems off me. Thank you, 9,600 dull mares. Awesome. Right, now. How much is a compressor? Do you take the... Yeah, there's little plimps in the museum. So, I'm waiting... I've got to be honest. I, I was speaking to Crystal Daz, who's the guy that built the last guide to the relics, and I said, you get, better get your arse in gear now. We need that guide. <laughs> I'm hoping he goes, all right, I'll do it, it's fine. <laughs> right, we need Emerald. Thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah. Subscribed? Yeah, YouTube, 
Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you very much for being here. Oh, boom. It's not coming up with my notifications. Unless it's... Ah, oh, is it not... I, should, I, want, I want live chat on. Why can't I click? I want live chat. YouTube being bummy again. Oh. <laughs> live. Live chat. Push the goddamn button. Thank you. And it's still not showing me who's subscribing. YouTube, you're broken. Broken! That doesn't surprise me. Right. Ruby, Emerald, Sapphire. Onyx. Diamond. Excellent. Buy those. Get them on the back of the truck. And now and then we need to go and buy some cables, which is going to be a pain in the butt. But we need to get this done. And cables are down the other end of the island. That's the only reason why I've got to go down there now. Right. Um. Anything else I need up this? Oh yeah, I need scales. Right, let's put my money back on. Let's put my money back way over here. We need scales. So I know how much things are worth. I need a tool rack, or actually we'll take two, because I've got tools. Um, need the electric saw, which is... I swear it was here as well. Oh no, it's in the other shop. Okay. I'll pick it up at Logic Shop, that's fine. And then we're going to need some more bits and pieces for like piping and some conveyors and some bits and pieces. So, that'll be okay. We'll set that up when we get back. Take my four grand and be happy and carry on. There is a relic guide on the Hydroneer wiki. Is it the re is it the relics for this game or is it the relics for the old game? If it's for this game, then I'll go and do them. I'll do them later. I haven't looked at the wiki, if I'm going to be right honest. I've had quite a lot of strange things to do. See, this is how good this game works, right? Apart from my filter breaking, the rest of the game hasn't broken. Yeah. Yeah, Crystal Daz did a video of one like, like a while ago. So I'm hoping he does another one because, well, in fairness, Daz's video is pretty cool. Okay, so I don't want to cross him with this. I need... So the corners go in there. That's where my first one's going to go. There's the logic hole. Logic hole's there. Lava hole is there. So the lava's going to have to come around the bottom of that. That's fine. Um, okay. So let's say... Uh, Zip Bertrand. Thank you very much for kicking by on Twitch. Much appreciate it. Sorry. That's going to be for Sapphire Emerald. And then I'm going to turn this way. You know what? I want a bit more space. Thank you very much for subscribing with your Twitch membership over there. Most appreciate using uh, the Amazon money that is free for everybody. It's fine. Thank you very much. A boom to you, sir. It's most appreciated. So, I'm going to go up there. I want a bit more room to run around in here, so I actually want like a decent like running space, if that makes sense. But I do need that facing that way, so that it, yep, that's fine. And then we'll take another one, and we'll pop that one there. And we're going to have to move my anvil, because it's all getting a bit cramped. On the plus side, it's showing how big the area that I need to work in is. Yes. How big is it? This big. Be prepared for Ron Jeremy big. And that one goes there. And um, that's cool. So this is going to be my main sorting area. Looks lovely. It's gorgeous. And then from there, all this will be boarded. And then... 
I just watched so many videos and started with the Hydro uh, Hydro today again because of the DLC. Thought I might get some information here watching the stream. And yeah, Prime is free, so why don't... Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much, man. That's most appreciate. So I am actually doing... If you go to my YouTube channel, which is... There should be a link somewhere on Twitch. There should be a link actually down below. Um, I've started rolling the guide out for the game itself because that's what I've been doing for my spare time. I built the guide for the game again. So you can go and check out my videos as they roll out. Do you got to get all the bones for the quest? Um, if you want to get the complete 9,100 tokens, yes. There's 36 bones in total. And there's about 70 or 80 spawn locations around the map. Two of them are in uh, the, the barrens. And when my video drops about the bones, I list them. I don't list all the locations but i list the ones that are a pain in the in the ass to find so yeah right that's fine so i'm going to need to t-pipe lava across the back end of this i gotta be i know i sort of know what i'm doing because i've done this a few times now but uh, in my head i'm planning There's one on the volcano cliff. There's a there's a couple. I I am waiting for somebody to go. Hey, oh, there's a guide for it all. And then I'll cut. If somebody can, if somebody actually does that, where they map all the locations, I'll cover it in a video. I just be like guys, just go here and check it out. This person's no, taking the time, give them some kudos. You know. I think it'd be pretty cool. Anyways. Waiting for this to get to 2,000 because that's a large amount of stone I need. You found one. Okay. I know Robocourse was like doing one. I think he was like messing around with like locations and stuff. Excuse me. Right. Um, yeah. Have I got a tea pipe for lava? No. I haven't got a spare one at least. Okie dokie. So I need to run lava off of here. So that'll be a tea pipe. Straight corner, so one corner, one, two, three corners, so that's two corners, three straight, four straights, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so I need, I don't know, a good chunk of them. I already got through Hydroneer, the community isn't that big, so if I need help, I always find information out of it. I don't know, it's big, I mean, there's over, there's more than 700 effects about the numbers, and he said, yeah, because I was like, how, how close are you to, like, to a million sales, and he said, well, we're about 750k in, so that's, that's a good amount of people playing the game, and for an indie title, that's pretty damn good, so I was, I was like, you know, hats off to you, because I was trying to, I was, I was trying to predict how many people would actually buy the game, like, the DLC within the first, like, six, seven months of the, uh, actually coming out, so by Christmas, and my prediction was around 300,000 people would have bought the DLC. That was my prediction for it. And then when he said that near, there's nearly 750,000 people who have bought the game, I was like, okay, maybe like 400k people would have bought the DLC by then. So, yeah, that, that was just my... I was just running like, like my rough head of like how many people play it now, how many people are still playing it. So it'd be interesting to see the Steam DB figures on this because I follow that to see how like busy the community is. I also I'm in the Discord all the time, so I'm always seeing like new people pop in. Why is there an elevator in the forge? Because you've got to get your truck up there. Yep, and you get a hauler later on. So the other the reason why you need like a, a lift is because when you got the hauler, you have to haul the heavy drills and the harvester off of like the, the volcano. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're, it, it's not a very, like, easy-to-climb volcano with the hauler. It used to be easier. Which was a shame. <laughs> okay. Let's do this the, uh, the new school way, shall we?
Can't reach. No, we can't. Three, four, five, six. We just need a lot of piping. I don't know how much I need. I'm just going to buy loads. And that will roughly be how much I need. If I've got any spare, I can use it later on as well. Don't worry. It's so I can get my machines working down lower. That should be enough. Wish the truck was a dump truck. Wait until you get the hauler. You'll be fine. They made the elevator instead of continuing the slope because there was one in Ice Helm and the tradition must continue. I don't know. I think it was just because, well, it's fun. Yeah. Did you already figure out where the mini plans for the craft are? Yeah, so basically, every time you unlock a sh uh, yeah, every time you unlock a shop, you get the uh, the miniatures from there. I've spoken about that in my review that I would actually like to have seen like an actual miniature shop. So instead of having to like buy the tier shops, but there's a couple of things I've I've touched upon from my own perspective of playing it. Most of it is pretty is pretty positive. I've got to be honest. I haven't really found many other issues with the game at all. I've enjoyed it, if anything. I've enjoyed it more. And i got to be honest, I think finding it easier is like the whole... For me, it comes, as I said, I, I, was, I didn't mind like um, 1.7's build. So only having like a couple of drills and having a bit more freedom to like do a bit more like freedom building and stuff. I actually like it more. I don't mind the whole tier system that was created for the game. But at the same time, I actually don't mind having tiered drills where I can put them on different levels and be happy. It's just a personal preference thing at the end of the day. But I am a weirdo. I do prefer different things. That can go there, and then that's going to go over that way. Uh, don't made use of the shops yet. Yeah, nice new mechanic, I think. Yeah, I mean, the shops are okay. There's, there's only one shop that I have a problem... Like, I have a proper problem with it. And when you unlock it, it's the ticket shop for the boat. And the reason why is because if you're like me, you'll save up your tokens, you'll go to Mott's Island once, and you'll buy everything, and then never go back. Right? Never. So that's one of my main gripes with um, Mott's Island as a whole. I have, as I said, I've I, I've done a review of it. When that comes out, you'll know the reasons why. But it does. I do have my reasons for saying what I do. But it's just because, in my eyes, it's something that could have been avoided. I know it's just going to bore a hole through the floor. Lava sucks. Sort of glad that once you've like stuck all this together, it stops boring holes through the floor. I do. I need one of those. Eh. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a freestyle player. It's just that I did, I did like the whole tier system one, two, and three. I preferred it, but when it when you, when I was playing like one point seven, I was like, well, I can just put things anywhere, and that's cool. Right, so that's all sort of working now. I mean, obviously this isn't finished, but you know we'll get there. It's fine. Right, next off, let me just um, stack my drill, stack my pipes. Do 
Did you realise the molten thing in the crucible are bubbling? Yeah. I thought it was a nice touch, you know. Instead of just being just a flat skin, it actually it looks like it's more it's more animated now, which is good. Don't worry, I'll need all these later. How am I doing today? Uh, Brandon for it. How are you doing, bud? I'm doing good, thank you very much for asking. Just messing around, building, having a laugh. Got my drills ma like mining away. We'll be alright. The thing is, is I do this, and whilst I'm doing this, my drills are just working in the background. I know I've only got two drills, but... I ain't doing anything right now, and they're just working. Don't have to worry. The only thing I have to worry about is those filters now. That's it. That's all I've got to worry about. Right, I'll put that there to remind me I've got to use it. It would seem like I've missed quite a bit. Ah, uh, you can go back and watch if you really want. Basically, I haven't really done a lot. Like, the first two hours were basically building a staircase. So I built a staircase down here. I've put two drills down, and that's literally all I've done. Everything else has just been, like, pure just getting this, like, the sorting area finished. Because once you've got the sorting area complete, you're fine. You know, everything works a little bit better. Oh no, we're broken again. You're not supposed to be down here. Well, that means that they're all going to break soon. So if that was the third one... Right. We're going to need another tool bag soon. Don't forget about the bug hunting. The bug hunting? Uh, I'm not really worried about bug hunting now. Oh yeah, we did a bit of like bugging, debugging. Because you found a bug. That was fun. But yeah, that will be patched as soon as like new... As soon as they've like updated it, which I think is tomorrow. There'll be a new one in. Right, let's finish off doing this. Ah, cheers, buddy. You don't have to, but thank you very much. So, yeah, I will be streaming this uh, tomorrow. And I will be streaming on Sunday as well. Mainly because I'm, I've, I've basically emptied my schedule for next week. I've got videos and everything already set. I'm all right. So I've got time just to sit here and actually play. And that's quite nice. I've, I I haven't been able to do this for a while. Like, apart from when I was doing when I was doing the testing and stuff, that was like, okay, cool, I'm testing again. But then I haven't actually sat here and just played the game. Now I'm actually sitting here playing the game. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm just taking my time. And this is actually quite nice. Just, just chilling out, man. It's cool. I know it sounds really hippified, but I'm like, I'm just re I'm just calming down with this game right now. And it's like, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll make this work. It's fine. All right. We'll chuck this, the rest of it over here. Do, 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 do. I keep buying new carts because I keep forgetting I've got them. There we go. So it's all my spares right now. The absolute worst thing early game is when you forgot to put a bucket down for the <laughs> I I did it I did it yesterday. Whilst I was stacking up cash for this for this run for, before I did the stream. Um I had loads and loads of stuff ready to go. And all of a sudden, the hand sort of stopped working. So it just piled everything up. I was just sat there and went, 
what the hell's going on? And basically, it the the uh, coding had got messed up with what I was sorting, and it didn't sort anything. And then I had to take the hand sorter away, and it all just went. <laughs> I was just sitting again. Bollocks! <laughs> I just had this mass mess all over the floor. I can actually. Show <laughs> I can't show you a screenshot. I wish I could, but man, it was like it was one of those times you just sat and went, "This is a proper noob mistake," you know. <laughs> I'm better than this. <laughs> Barry, how you doing, bud? <laughs> so yeah, that that was a fun time. <laughs> I didn't enjoy myself. Let's put it that way. It is the, the it is the worst thing that can happen to anything on Hydraenea. It's like, what happened to you? You, you, you weren't there, man. You weren't there. <laughs> just, just no. My worst was when I put a cork somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, when when you lose a cork in your piping, and you're like, where the hell did I put it? I don't know. And you have to strip your entire build down to find it like ten minutes later. Dear Hybrid, we love your videos, uh, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, so glad you're back on Hydroneer. Could you give a shout out to my girlfriend Patricia? There you go. Hi, Patricia. Welcome. Uh, she is sad because we have to put the dog down. Oh, that sucks. Losing a dog is always fun. I say that with no, it's not. You know, it's it's a it's a crappy thing to go through. So yeah, I get you. Don't worry. Got a question? How hard is it to sync up the volume to your Twitch and YouTube? Um. I don't know. Is it working? Because if it's working, I ain't touched it. Should I buy the jeweler or the tier one shop? Both. Just go for both of those. Don't worry about the ticket shop for now. Just get both of those done. That's all you got to do. Just aim for those and be happy. Is the, is the sound synced on there as well? It's working, it's just a simple question. Oh, basically, what I do is, I don't care. And it just seems to work. So, if it's working, it's like pixie magic, and I don't know what's going on. But, basically, all I do is, I have I use a RTMP multiple streaming thing for OBS, and it literally just streams both to both platforms, and it's fine. So, if there's any other problem, I don't know if there's a problem. I never know. I, I don't pay attention. Mainly because I'm I'm listening to the music on the speaker. You guys are hearing it on there. I don't know what's going on <laughs> anywhere else. <laughs> Unless somebody t sends a message going, we've got a problem. Yeah, I didn't know. Firestrike3016 over on Twitch. Thank you very much for being there. A boom to you, sir. Most appreciated. Right. We're at, we're at 7,911. Something's broken. Can't wait to get the auto repair system. <laughs> Sucks. You're a legend, mate, and just to put a smile on her face. Oh, that's right, no problem. Hey, if if even if just a little thing happens, it helps. Actually, we don't have music on Twitch. You should do. It's just really quiet. Give me a sec. Love watching your videos. Thank you very much. So I've turned the music up a little bit. Can you guys hear it? It's really quiet though. The music in this game is genuinely a little bit quieter. Um, it will go dead for a second. Let me just go into the options. So you're not going to hear it whilst I'm in the screen, whilst I'm in the options and stuff. Well, if I if I flip screen and I'm like on the on the computer side of things, the music cuts off, which does suck. But the music is audio is uh, music is up to one, masters up to one, world ambience and stuff like that, um, and it's on minus ten decibels. So. It's all good. Okay, yeah. So if I flip, if I, um, if I come out of the game like that, you can't hear the music. If I go back into it, you can. Hope you're doing well, Aaron. Purchase. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you very much for asking, mate. It's most appreciated. Yeah, I'm just we're just chilling out. We're going through uh, some rough times. I've got a little bit of clout here and we should, we're okay. I've even got a set of scales now, so that's good. 
Right. Um, how much does crap weigh? Because I really do need something to, like, I need to make something so we can make some money so I can start buying some more conveyor belts because we're a little bit skimpy right now. We need to finish this off. So we need a lot. We need some corners. Well, I've got one corner. We need one more corner, a load of straight, some more sorters, and we'll be fine. Yeah. I'm not worried about tier two right now. I'm just, I don't care about it. I need to get this finished first. And then when this is finished, expansion. It's all good. Okay, uh, let's get that done. How much are we down to, oh, up to, sorry. Is it lots? It's lots. It's 13 grand. That's enough for belts. That's more than enough. Right, let's, let's bake this for a second. Chuck this on here so we can make a dagger. Oh. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh no. If we can make a dagger, then we're all good. And then, I might go and get all the stuff for, um, for the repair system. Because that's quite expensive. So this was, oh, bums. This was 13 grand as a block. This is now 14,300 as a dagger. So we got a bit of cash. And we got our four grand there. So we got 17,000. We're doing okay. Now, uh, what do I want to do? I want to ride a bicycle. Right, we'll turn that off for a second. Conveyor belts are still going to run because the water supply is still in going. It's all good. Oh, pants. Now it's not going to be running. Because I've just destroyed it. Go! Don't worry about all the stuff that's piling itself into there. We'll be fine. Right, turn off. Cool. Right, so we've got 14 grand in a dagger. I need conveyor belts. Let's go. Thing is, is once you've got this done, like you've got a sorting area done, literally the next thing to do is upgrade. That's it. That's all I've got to do as soon as I get this done. Just upgrade. I want to say a big shout though, 121 people in stream, 85 likes on YouTube, 17 people on Twitch. That's, I think that's the most people I've ever had on Twitch. That's amazing. Thank you very much, guys. I did forget to bring my jewels though. No, I didn't care either. Right. Let's go. We've got two stacks of cash. We are rolling with the ballers. Next. Um, we need conveyor belts. And logic. Oh, crap. Yeah, I need logic cables. Fudge. Right, we're going to go down to the shattered outpost. Because I need to get logic stuff. It's basically just to get my um, like things done. Which sucks. I don't want to go there. It's too far away. Like my my main gripe with going this far out is down the map is just because it is too far away. Basically, we're on the road. We're going to go all the way, man. Can you build roads? No, you can drive them, and it takes a really long time. <laughs> There's lots of road here. Like this this road goes from one side to the other, and it's quite long. I've driven this road way too much. It sucks. Dead tool over on Twitch. Thank you very much, buddy, for following. I thought you already did. Uh, maybe not. Thank you very much, mate. Awesome of you. I do like the land, though. I know it's like there's a lot of wasteland in this where there's not a lot going on, but it just adds to the aesthetic of the island. It's quite cool. Is your vehicle good for off-roading? 
Uh, no, not really. The holder is bloody good for off road. If you if you want when you get it, eventually, whenever you get around to getting the hauler, it's so much fun to drive. It's slow, but it is like amazing. All right. Might I say, boo, Twitch chain. Yeah, Twitch is up, it's all good. Thank you very much for the follow there over there, it's awesome. Did I leave this on subscriber only chat? I can't remember now. Thank you very much for the follow over on Twitch. Most appreciated. That's uh, Adam Toy Pengi. Adam Boy Pengi. Sorry, man. I'm like trying to read three different things right now. Follow chat is on. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's, we got we I got spammed up last. Like, was it last week? No, the other day I got spammed, and I was like, I got to keep this off. And it, so, the, like, so if you were in my stream the other day, you remember when we had that like, wall of text where somebody was basically spamming my chat, right? That guy tried to join my Discord and then tried to spam me on there, so I had to remove him from there. And then tried to phone me 25 times on Discord. 25 times! And that was, I'm just sitting again. What the fuck? He also was spamming the Hydroneer Discord trying to get me to... T I'm sitting there going, are you fucking serious right now? Like, this guy was like, I think it's because I, I, I silenced him to start with and I banned him for spamming. I have never seen that before. I have never seen that much sort of like like antagonistic behavior as, as a as a person. I was sitting there going, the fuck is going on? Oh my god, it was it was like, shit in hell. <laughs> I was genuinely shocked. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And yeah, he, he went, he was like going crazy. So I, I just sat and just went, nah, that's right. And just blocked him on there as well. He got deleted off, he got deleted off my Discord. I blocked him on Discord. I got rid of him completely. This guy was just throwing up a mental. Determination. Right, I forgot to buy, I'm going to go and get another car. I'm going to have three carts. I need a cart. Let me jump over the wall. Thank you. Uh, I'm admin for the number one Rust community server. We get raided, scam, re yeah, it's so annoying. And I'm just, I, all I, all I'm doing is playing fucking Hydroneer, and I was just, I, by the end of it, I was just sitting there going, "You've got to be joking." I've never been phoned twenty-five times by somebody who got disgruntled, ever. I was like, that's bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Right, I need this because we're going to be buying cables. Now, I can't remember what I'm... I, I, I can't remember how much I need to buy. I'm just, I'll smeg off with you, you twonk. Look, I need to drop this. Pick up my money. And drop it over here. Put this in the cart. Because I keep forgetting to buy, bring my carts with me. So I'm going to have a mass collection of cards. It's going to be amazing. Don't need a table. Don't need a table. Yeah, I, I just don't get it. So yeah, I, I was like, that. that's the first time that's happened to me. And then people wonder why I don't give out my address to people. It's not good. It's not worth it. The worst is when you do charity events and then get and then get dust. Yeah, it sucks. When you buy a new plot, do you lose your previous one? No, no, you can own them all. That's fine. You you can own everything. It's it's not like it's not just like you finish and you can't ever go back. You own everything. Right, I think that's basically as much as I need for cable wires. I think. Maybe. What new vehicles are there? 
Um, I actually have a video coming out about it, but I'll go through it now. You have a a tank that fires fire, and you can melt tiered snow and ice depending on um, where you wh what you do, depending on like which tier you're going to go for, because you have to buy canisters for it. There's a hauler, which basically is a heavy vehicle for um, picking up buff stones and the heavy drills when you make them which is why there's a lift at the top of Volcalidus. Um there's a motorcycle which in fairness I feel is a it's more of a scout vehicle where when you're doing like little missions for like you know building rings and stuff like that for people it's easier to get around with the little motorbike it's pretty cool. Um and then there's the, the roller was re redone which was pretty nice. But yeah it, it all in all it costs about I think it's like 12 grand to get all the vehicles. So it's a little bit of money. It's not like money-wise, it's tokens. So when you go to Mott's Island, you need to take tokens with you. You need to take some money with you if you want the roller. But yeah, everything else is token-based. And it's like, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of tokens. That's why I, I basically recommend everybody to pick up the dinosaur bones and do the mission first. Do the mission at the dinosaur place first. You get a nice little chunk to change to start. Like 9,000 tokens, it's a good start. That's the actual origin name of the sound. Oh, the Wilhelm scream. The hauler has six, yeah, but it's the same size as a locomotive. It's a massive, and it's good. Yeah, we enjoyed testing it. Like for me, my the my my most like fun part was driving it up the side of the like the volcano. It's been limited a little bit, but my, is it fun? Yeah, it's cool. It's an ATV, just like it looks like a tank and a train that just like had violent sex. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> That's all I can really say it looks like. It's it's just a monstrosity, but it's amazing. I need to cut, actually. No, we need to turn. Need to turn. I need to go to the shop and pick up some more tool bags. And I need to buy some flooring, but I can't, I can't do that just yet because I'm at this end of the island again. That way. You'll need to melt ice to produce water in these lands. No, mate, who hit you on the head? Uno mas. Duo mas. And yeah, we'll buy three of those as well. Two. Three. Ta very much there, lad. Now, I haven't bought the relay system for the auto repair system yet. All I've done is literally just buy the cables for the um, the logic compressors. So what I need to do now is I need to go and dump this next to my build. Go and buy some conveyor belts as well. I think yeah, I'm just I'm probably just gonna do a lot of prep work tomorrow as well, actually. But just before the stream, I'm gonna have like I'll have things laid out ready to do. So I'll be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna put this in, we should be okay. So this is the logic stuff for the compressors, so that's alright. We can do that. It's cool. Now that can come off of there, that can go up there, and that can go up there. Tar very much there. Excellent. This can go over here. Why do you need logic in the gem compressors? Because I like to turn them on and off. If I'm going to be brutally honest, when you leave them like this, and they're running on lava, that's fine. It's the same as the originals. But I prefer them to open and close all the time. And when I finish doing stuff, I prefer to turn them off, and they all open. And then I don't have to worry about them. It's peace of mind, it's OCD, and genuinely, 
that's what it is for me. It has to be done like this because if it's not, it's wrong in here. So anybody, I don't care what everybody else does. You can run it how you can run it like this as much as you like, but for me, hooking it up so I can turn it on and off, yeah, that's just, it's peace of mind. And I've I've stuffed up enough on this game to really to sit there and just go, yeah, that's not going to be the way I do things. I've done it way too much, so that's why I do it. Every single build. If you look at all of my builds throughout the whole life, when logic when the compressors got pulled in. And we all sat there and just went, so what do these do? I set it up and I've never changed it because it's just my brain. It doesn't like it if I don't do it, basically. It's not good, but it's just, yeah. Did the game get updated? Fallible hangover. How you doing, Max? Welcome in, dude. Oh. <sighs> right. So I need conveyor belts. So we're going to go and buy a load. And I need some splitters. Doing good. Yeah, I'm doing alright, man. Basically, just churning by. It's uh, I, I'm in the I'm in chill mode now. I'm not rushing. I'm like, okay, I've got two drills set up, and I'm all good. Just wondering if you've abused the exploit. No, I haven't myself. We te I tested it out in the other get in my other save to see if it was working or not. It was uh, Mimo that actually like found it, so I just tested it live. It worked, so that's why I reported it, and I think he reported it as well. So we did live bug testing on a stream. Amazing. No, I, I, I don't abuse the system too much. I just play the game now. The funniest thing about the drill dupe by accident. Yeah. <laughs> it's accident. Trust. Where to God is an accident? It's all good, man. Hey, my community are really good. You know, if someone's come up with a problem and it needs to be sorted, you know, the, the people that, that come on to here, they're all right. Is the DLC worth buying? All right, I'll put this into perspective, Gavin. Are you going to play it for more than eight hours? Because if you are, it's worth buying. To put it into perspective, my last stream was a couple of hours. I'm up to four hours now. We've done six hours in. £8.50 well spent so far. Yes. So, yeah, you're going to be playing this for a while. That that's how I, that's literally how I work it out. If you're gonna pay, if you're gonna pay one pound per hour of gameplay, you've made you, you you've got your mind you got your time in. It's all good. Hybrid has been lost in all. For, yeah, it's just yeah, it's all good. I know it is. I can read. How many have I got? I need a. I need that. I need a load of these. The worst part is, is I can't remember how many of these I need. All in all, though, I think when it came to the beta, like I know this. So the the thing I'm gonna do, like do, like talk about in the beta is I probably spent about 150, 170 hours actually playing the beta. So to put that into put, put to put that into perspective, that's 170 hours of a game that's just. It's it's just a DLC when people look at it. It's like, yeah, it's enough. Oh, he's giving out a free code. Ooh. So there you go. Uh, replace a re replace the A with the letter, the last letter of my channel name, and you can get yourself. So if you take that code and put in an R at the start, there you go. Well, there's a free copy of the game right there. Thank you very much, Max. I pay I played three thousand five hundred hours of armor. Yeah, dude. So the thing is, is that that's how I see it. That's how I see gaming. It's like if I'm gonna spend, if I'm gonna spend seventy dollars on a game or seventy quid on a game or whatever I spend on a game. If I can get 70 hours out of it, it was worth my time. 
right? Because I do occasionally pay to play games. If I'm spending ten pound on a game, and I'm basically sitting here with like over a thousand hours in it, it's genuinely worth my time, and that's literally how I see things. So you can you can do the whole one dollar or one pound an hour thing in your head and see if it's good for you. But for me, one pound an hour. Yeah. So that's not. I don't think that's enough conveyor belt. I think we we need more. That's been a good game. It's rare to find a game that keeps me going for over a thousand hours. <laughs> yeah, but in, in fairness, you do the same. When you get into like when you've played like Final Fantasy or Destiny, and I sit there and just go, right, are you coming to bed now? I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> We're as bad as each other when it comes to gaming. Like we we both found we we find our own obsessions. Like for me, Hydronia is an it. Hydronia is a way that my brain stops ticking as much, and I just go into like like calm mode. And um, it helps. It, it that, for me, it's just that game that genuinely has just kept me a little bit more sort of like I don't know. It's a bit more stable. Instead of like just constantly like overthinking stuff and everything, the game helps me sort out what goes on in my brain. So, it, yeah, I mean, call it an obsession, but it has genuinely helped with my own mental well being and general mental health. And when we went through COVID and stuff, and I had this, I was just like, yeah, I'm sort of leveled out. So, I'm all right. Yeah. And, and blackjack and hookers is expensive after a while. <laughs> right. I need my saw. I don't know if I'm going to be able to set this up just yet. If I need that, that means I need corners. Um. So let's say we're going to go that way around. So I need a left turn and a left turn. Where am I? Hold on. Left turn... Left turn. Left turn. Huh? And left turn. We'll go around in a circle, it's fine. It's okay. You feel like you're okay in an apology. So <laughs> your fault, Max. You, you built a game. <sighs> Sorry, man. This game is hard and calming at the same time. It ain't hard. Like... If 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 a, a half-assed weirdo or idiot like me, who generally fires on like the wrong signal half the time, can play this game and kick back on it, it's not that difficult. Trust me. I mean, if you gave me like satisfactory of no tutorial, I'd be doing my nutting. But yeah, when it comes to this, game, this game is like really easy in comparison. <laughs> Yeah, she's got a her her hobby is way more expensive than mine. <laughs> yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. When those boxes kept turning up. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, well, it's still more than what I've spent on hydrogen. <laughs> I bought the wrong corner. I should have bought a right turn for that one. Damn it. We need a right turn for that, not left. At least you can... Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, no, I don't wear woolly hats. So, I get... Because I've got psoriasis, woolly hats actually fuck me up. <laughs> so, it's not good. Like, I actually... I, I've been wearing the same hat for, like, 25 years. Not, like, cap-wise. Like, my, my actual winter hat. I've had it for so long, it just, it's never got old. It's just there. What's the hobby? Well, gaming is the uh, gaming is my hobby. Uh, Kerry's is knitting. Like if if Kerry's got her own Instagram where she puts up her own knitting projects and stuff. Genuinely, she's a talented person with uh, with knitting. And she, you know, she she delved into it at a, like a young age. A mum taught her and a nan taught her and stuff, and she's just carried it on ever since. And genu I think ge she's actually better than her mum, because her mum's always quite jealous of her. It's quite funny actually. <laughs> 
but yeah, she knows what she's doing. She's done like a load of test knits for other people as well. She's helped out with patterns. One of her friends in America is, um, she does her own like um, like production of her own wool, so she dyes it herself. So occasionally I'll, there'll be like a, a phone call going on. Kerry's talking to her and they're like going through names and like color patch, color work and stuff like that. So yeah, she kn she knows what she's doing. No, oh, you said it was the sweetie one. Yeah. She knits and you've got knits. I don't have knits, I'm bald. If I had knits, you'd be able to see them. They'd be like running around like an animal farm. That would be pretty bad. Easy. Uh, White Wolf over on Twitch. Thank you very much for following. Much appreciated. Right, let's get some conveyor belts running, shall we? Or right, let's just get them connected. That would be a good start. Is that? No, you don't. There's no such thing as. There's no such thing as beard nits. Is that the right one? I don't know. Is that the right one? No, that's not the right one. That's a left turn. Yeah, we're going good. Thank you very much for subscribing. My, the worst part is, is that's not coming up on YouTube, like who's subscribing, so I don't know. Does she ever knit knickers? Um, I think they'd be itchy. But you, it's, on t it's on chat. No, apparently. Bad Wolf with the 100. Yeah, he, he dropped that a while ago. It's still kicking around. Like I said, uh, that would go, that will be... That doesn't go through until... That won't be in this month's paycheck. That will be in next month's paycheck because of the way YouTube works. You work a month in hand on YouTube. So anything that gets donated on YouTube now, I won't see until May. Which is sort of a pain in the butt. That's why the, the direct donation link actually just goes to like my PC or what I want to buy later on if not I'll just I'm putting, chucking money in for it for myself as well <laughs> got to go back to work got to get this patch out catch you later man ha enjoy thank you very much for the DLC Max much appreciated it's a good little as I said it's a good little run I like it he's probably busy Right, so that's all the conveyor belts done. Yay! Right, now the rest of these belts are going to be for my um, my other project. Yeah. These are going to be for the auto saw when I get around to building it. Right now, I don't really need it, so I'll just leave all the bits and pieces over here. We'll build it next time in. It's fine. See, I bought it. Just not going to set it up yet. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Oh no, the big red banner's gone. Oh, that's a shame. Only four likes away from a hundred likes on the stream. We're getting close, real close. Yeah. Thank you very much for everybody that has pushed that like button. It's awesome. Okay. Right. Next. Um, oh yeah. Next is I need this, and I need to get rid of this a second. And we need the pickaxe. The cheapest red banner in Poland costs five hundred Polish money. 
yeah, I don't expect people to do that. <laughs> Seriously. I never expect anybody to donate ever. It's just one of those things. Like, for me, it's like... I mean, that's why I say you can do it if you like, but it is purely up to you. Two, three... To leave my hammer there so I know where I'm stopping. Because if not, I'll just keep building a trench. <sighs> Are you running mods? Nope, not at all. I don't run any mods in Hydrania anymore. Don't need to. The game works perfectly as it is. The only mods that are on the base game were quality of life, and I've got to be honest, the game works. So I, my quality of life is I don't have to worry about it. You know, mods were one thing that I used mods in the start because I've got to be honest, back then it was like sort of needed. But over time, with the game working as well as it does now, mods don't. I mean, as I said, you can still use them; they're not that bad. But I just don't need them anymore. I don't really care about them too much either, you know. And I don't think any mods work on this game right now, <laughs> unless that, unless support was chucked in real quick. But I don't think they actually work yet, because the, the whole the whole game got updated. It's now I think we're, we should be up to three point now, which means new game, new base game, new new additions have been put in. Then you've got all like the quality of life fixes that have been put in, so you. You can just run your game and be happy with no major stutterings or other issues that the game used to have. No, this patch is just things that... I mean, it's like the the glitch that was found this evening. Yeah, well, it's just basically making sure it works. Nah. It won't be 3.1 yet. It's just... Don't know. Do you remember the desert DLC idea? Yeah, no, I, I actually like. So the idea that, I, yeah, I, I think you've spoke about it in my Discord. That idea I thought was pretty cool. Like being at, like in, the, in like the next idea of like a, a rough thing for DLC would be go to a desert and your main fuel was oil. Yeah, I like the I like that idea. So instead of lava or water, you used oil. Yeah, it did give us. <laughs> <laughs> the glitches in this game were ridiculous. <laughs> I remember my, I remember them well. Bought a bloody T cable. There it is. Yeah, should have a few of these. Yeah, you bought the jeweler. Welcome. The jeweler, I like the jeweler personally. It's just so I don't have to keep running around and like 
running over to Lumberton just so I can go, you know, I need to sell stuff. Or I can just do it here and I'm fine. Right, so that's everything connected. It looks a lot better when you put a floor down. Let's put it that way. All right, at the moment, it just looks like crap, but we will get there. That's fine. Actually, you're saying that. I think I've got enough to build some of the basic stuff for um, for the auto repair. Yes. Let's go and do a rough click of that quick. So, in order to do that, it's going to go there for a second. Thank you very much for subscribing. I can't read the names, unfortunately, because YouTube's not going, hey, this person subscribed. So it seems to be a bit broken. But thank you very much for subscribing. It's, it's awesome. Didn't realise we would have a f have to filter lava. Well, yeah, because it still breaks stuff. So, unfortunately, yes, you do have to filter lava. It works like it works like the water did on the, on the game. So. Yeah... But, I mean, I don't know what, like, Brita-filtered lava is like. Uh, is it more harsh? I don't know. Yeah, we need to filter lava. Because it's got, it's got impurities in it. <laughs> I don't know. That would do, and... Ah... Oh. That's a tea pipe. I don't need that one. I don't need that one either. And I don't need you either. I don't need you either. Or you. I need you. I need you. 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 Right. It's fine. We are so close to actually setting up most of the bare necessities of life in this game now. So close. But yet so far. Yeah, that can go there. It's all good. It's all good. That's all good. And... That's all good. So uh, now all I need is the readers and the spanner hurlers, and we're good. Uh, good, good. Very, very, very good. Good. Ooh. Oh. But yeah, they, so that's most of the cables done, sorted. Fantastic. Now I can just go and scoop this on the side, never to use it again, because I don't really need cables. One thing I do want to do later on, though, because in fairness. I do want to have, I'm going to have to automate the, like, I'm going to put a valve here that I'm going to turn on and off myself, so I'll have a little control panel that I can just click it on so the, the, the lava clicks up. Um, not so worried about the logic on that, because that will get changed over anyways. But then, yeah, everything, everything else I just want to have a central control for, so I don't have to keep running around the whole build. But I need to change this quick. So, that, yeah, it's just me. Yeah, I didn't really... Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, you can. It's all good. Oh. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright. What are we doing next? Apart from dossing about. So the worst part is I'm going to have to make a way back down to... Um, the shattered outpost because I need to go and get the readers and I need to go and get the spanner hurlers which on the plus I means I can get some flooring because this place is looking a bit like well crap basically so we need to put some floor in to make this place look nice again right so 
Someone's salt shaker fell over. The damages were ex extensive. Yeah. <laughs> no, the level's melting. Right. How much have we got? We got five grand. Oh, how much is the logic reader? Oh, I think that might be expensive. I think I'm going to need more than five grand. So I think... Uh, that's dangerous, I know. But I'm going to have to get some money. Um, How much is this worth? Where's my scales? You know what? It's worth 15 grand. We'll sell it. It's fine. <laughs> It's only iron, I don't care. 15 grand, plus the what I've got on me, we've got enough. We'll be fine. And then we can start building stuff properly. Yes, that's what we need. It's all good. It's all good, don't worry. Then we need to go back down to the Shattered Outpost. Need to pick up some bits and pieces. And we will be fine. But, it's not bad considering what? We've done four and a bit hours. This is a long stream. Four and a bit hours in, and we are almost done for everything bare necessity, which is good. So once I've got all of this done, all I literally have to do is run the machine for a bit, and then we can start, like, making stuff, getting some customers going with their, like, items, and the game, it just ticks over, and it's all good. And then we can get into Tier 2 and Tier 3, and I could probably do those in, like, one stream, so I'm not sure about tomorrow because tomorrow, as I said, like tomorrow for me is going to be, I'm not going to be getting back here till eight o'clock. I'm not going to get online till eight, so I've only got like a couple of hours tomorrow. But Sunday, Sunday will be like another mainstream. We'll do a, like a long one like this, and I'll just get up. I'll, I should be out down to into tier three by then. So we'll try and get everything set, like the conveyor belts all the way down to tier three. We'll start drilling at tier three. We'll start pushing it. So, and then. The next stream will be next Saturday. Because I'm, I'm going to like not stream on Friday because it'll only be like a two-hour stream. If I do like a, next Saturday, we'll be doing um, the heavy drills and the heavy harvester and redoing the entire like layout of the like, design again. Because <sighs> there's a lot of stuff. I remember before 2.1 update, uh, the creative filter hook would call was called in Polish it was called in Polish called uh, turn a mouse upside down oh I don't know I'm not I only see, ever see the English stuff so I'm very sorry but yeah, I sort of figured live streams for me live streaming hydrogen is always a good thing I actually enjoy it that much I'm, I'm willing to put hours into it but when it came to videos, I, the videos for me are more just, they have to be a guide. I think the reason why they have to be a guide is because there are so many people out there who like ask questions. It, there's no one else that really covers it like what I do, which is a shame, really. But, I mean, if somebody else did it, I would be in retirement. I'd be like, that's literally the only thing that like, keeps my channel running. Nobody else cares about all the stuff I do. Right, so I need um, dub, 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 uh, five of these. Two. I forgot to bring my bloody thing again. Three. Four. This is, this is why I needed to sell something, because alone that's six grand <laughs> just for those. Oh, it's expensive. Right, uh, readers. There we are. One. Uh, uh. Two. Uh, uh, uh. That, by the way, pretty cool for later on. There you go, 7,800 for just readers and the bloody spanner hurlers. The rest of that, the rest of this money literally goes into like spanners. Two, 
Da, 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 da. By the way, for all those people out there who actually know how to use logic, congratulations. This is this is as hev heavy as I go on logic nowadays. I don't do <laughs> I don't do anything right. complicated. What are you setting up? Auto auto uh, span hurler. Excellent. Okay, cool. Do you know anything else? No. Just it's a big fat no. Do you find the Hydroneer shop system uh, tedious or fun? Lots of back and forth, right? Generally, I, I think for me it's such a small thing I don't really care about it. You know, I I did speak. Uh, you know, there there is concern from other people, just like oh yeah, the extra steps and this and the other. But for me personally, you know, I was going backwards and forwards to shops anyway in Bridgeport all the time, and I spent loads of my time travelling between shops and going up to the mountain to forge new stuff and everything. So even in base game, I was always backwards and forwards. So going back to the shops and stuff really doesn't bother me. And I think that's just my mentality of it. It's part of the game. I have to do it. Screw it. We'll just do it. I don't really care too much about it all. I just play the game, enjoy it, and be happy. But yeah, I, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, if, if people find it tedious, then that's just how it is. You know, it, it's each their own. There are certain things in other games that I find like really laborious and I can't be asked to do it half the time. But for some reason, this game, I just keep things going. Yay, I made the live stream. How you doing? Screwy girl? Yeah, screwy girl. How you doing? Welcome, by the way. And now there are officially more likes on the stream than there are actual people watching, so now I'm confused. <laughs> Yay, I broke my brain. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have got to fill up my truck when we get back. It's getting a bit low now. It'll start flashing yellow soon. It'll be like, no, you're running out. Doing good. Love the new DLC. Uh, still trying to figure it all out. Well, there's guides coming. I even did a getting started. I get. I did a getting started video as well. So that's there. You've got. You know, I'm I'm pulling the resources as quickly as I can. There's like five videos coming out this weekend alone for it. So, keep an eye on the channel. Uh, I tried making an automatic smelter setup that spits out perfectly 100 weight. Uh, and then spewing them into a converter. So you can do that now with the new reader. So that little radar thing that I was showing you in the, in the shop that's next to the actual reader thing that looks like a, it looks like a, a sorry, it looks like a radar thing. Um, that will actually read the liquid amounts that are inside your smelters and inside like your um, water stuff and everything. So you can hook that up to be able to do an automatic. But I, but man, I was like, no, nah, I'm right. I forgot the flip hooks. Oh, bugger. Damn it! You know I'll, I'll I'll fill up with lava. With me. I'll go back to the new dawn. I'll do it. Not new dawn. Dawn's rest. Sorry, man. I screwed up. That's my bad. That's because I wasn't thinking. I, I've, and also, I've done this for four and a half hours. My brain's frying. Member for one year, ten months, fifteen days, and almost two years. Yeah. Well, uh, for some reason, I'm not getting those notifications on YouTube. That sucks. YouTube broken. Is it on the Bastion Island? What? No, 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 well, I don't know. Go and check it out. Uh, what we do, because uh, I've got to go back anyway, because I forgot to, like, do stuff. Um, let me just fill up my truck. Huh? Need to find, yeah, there it is. Let me fill this up first, and when we get back, I'll, um, oh, I'll show you the one I'm talking about. See, my truck's getting low on fuel, man. Ugh. Yep. That'll be enough. I don't even need to fill this up. Right. When I get back to the shop, I'll show you what I mean. And if it is there, then... Yeah, it should be, it'll be there. Don't worry. Yeah, I would, I would have set this up. I'd have just sat and just went, ah, oh, bums. And I'd have had to drum back from my plot. So Now I need a turbo button. Just... You can sort of walk in the... Yeah, basically, you'll get hurt. Well, I say hurt. You'll jump around and go, ooh, 
whoa, ooh. And then you can walk around on the lava, but as soon as you start jumping again, it will like set off the jumping cycle again. It's quite funny. You can get some really good height off of it as well. I thought that was pretty nifty. Yeah, yeah. I'll show. The, these reader things should be in Bastions, like in the base game as well. Can't show you, there's no lava here. It's just water. Where's the scrapyard? Uh, Burville, round the back of the conveyor shop. I know the question I want to ask, but I don't know how to ask it. Um, ask the question. Uh, right, just spiel it out in the chat and we'll try and work it out together, shall we? <laughs> and if I can drive, it'll be awesome. <laughs> With words. Yeah, that, that does help. Words really do help. Thank you very much for subscribing. I don't know who it is because the text is so small on my screen and YouTube's not showing it, so. Sorry. <laughs> Can you buy the pressure rods uh, or whatever that we had in the water extractor in the base game? You mean the pressure tanks? Yeah, you can buy pressure tanks. we we'll just go over here. Do you mean these... Or the ones that go on the side of your intakes. Oh, don't worry about touching the lava. You'll be fine. So yeah, do you think? Do you remember? Is it these or the ones that go on the side of the boot on the side of the intakes? That's all. That's it. I'll go for now. I'll just wait until you've replied. Don't want to rush you. It's all good. Don't worry. think I know what you're on. I think with that reading over a couple of times, I think I know which one you're on about. Uh, that you have to make in the forge. Yes. Uh, so what you need to... Yeah, so those ones, which are um, pressure boosters for your um, intakes, you need to open up tier two shop and the miniatures will be in the shop for you to buy there okay so this is the thing i'm on about this thing at the logic content reader this should be in the base game as well so you take this you point it at something and it will give you a number if you can i think it reads the weight of the item inside of the auto smelter so what you would do is you point it at it and put a did you put a reader on a cable so it shows you how much is there when it gets to X amount, that's when you should be able to trigger it. But I don't know how to set it up because I'm a dumbass. But I know what you're trying to do. And I'm pretty sure this is the key to your auto smelting. On the side of the intakes. Yeah, so you have to unlock a tier 2 shop. Yeah. I need flip cables. One. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> oh, my brain. <laughs> Two. I need a cart. Three. Yeah, so the way that, you, that I, what, I was going to do a video on them, but I sort of sat there and just went, I personally wouldn't use them because I don't know how to set up like an auto smelt or stuff. I literally just use bloody like levers and I'm happy. I don't need like overly complicated stuff. Just pull lever, everything works, all good, don't care. So, but yeah, that, that logic reader, like the content reader, I think is basically the thing you're looking forward to um, really sort of do what you need to do. Did I put my money in it? Yeah, I did. Excellent. Let's go! Now it's going to set up the auto thingies. And we'll be good. It's t quarter to 11. We are almost done with all the basic crap. So to put this into perspective, this is like, it's taken a few extra steps. It's a little bit of a longer process. 
because by the time that I would have done this on Bastion, like three hours, of, I would have had three hours of just like South Hope just starting to mine. I would have been, I would have been putting a lot of money in by now. You know, because it only takes me like five hours to do anything in that game now. With this, it does take a, it takes the extra couple of miles to do it. For you, it's quarter past twelve. Yeah, you know, it's it's British. So we went forward an hour. Did we go forward an hour? Yes. Yeah, we went forward an hour. We lost an hour of sleep. The worst part is, I didn't just lose one hour of sleep. I lost two hours of sleep because my kids woke me up two hours earlier than normal. <laughs> Daylight savings time for me was just like no. Uh, it's like I think it was half past three that they woke me up. And I was like, dude, you need to go back to bed. Like, I've been, uh, I haven't slept. <laughs> the clocks went forward. The the kids got up way too early. I was a wreck that day. I was just sitting here zombified for most of it. Just like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I think my brain shut off at about seven. Like, for most of the day, I was just zombified. Like, no, things don't care. Right, I need to buy, um, I've got two span. oh no, I'm just going to fill it up with spanners now. We'll just fill it up and we'll be okay. So I need four, eight, I need twenty. Yeah, I need twenty bags of spanners. Drill down low for the good stuff. Oh, shut up, mate. We'll we'll be dealing with that later. <clears throat> Let me just get this a bit closer. Two, four. This is the one that annoys me a little bit because the the buy point is so skinny, you can't get a lot on here. I had the same voice line at the same time. Spooky. Yeah, I think there's only like five or six voice lines for this guy. Right, so that's uh, one dri that's one reader, two readers, and one. So if I take that off, so that's two readers worth. You can craft more of these machines at Volcalidus Peak. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, on the back of the truck, donut. Thank you. Two, three, four. One reader, two readers. Huh? Huh? Oh no, I don't want one of those. Need one of those though. Don't fall. Right. Can you still hook carts up to the trailer? Yes. Yeah, you can. But they're sleds now. They're not carts. I know I'm being pedantic, but that's what they are. But yeah, you can still hook them up to the back of the truck. It's pretty fun. They look pretty cool as well. I've got to be honest. They're, they look all right. I think I'm not sure who made them, though. Like, I know some of the stuff in the game Itchy made now, because he's actually, like, he's doing Blender quite a lot now. So he's becoming, like, multi-skilled. Itchy went from just having just being community manager to, like, part designer for the game. He's the guy who designed what the water looks like when it comes out of the pipe. Right? So when the water's bouncing around on the floor, that was Itchy. He designed that. He's well proud of it. <laughs>
Still don't buy any floor. Right, let's fight through all of this stuff. Let's get all this out of here first. Right, everyone know the order? You have to put the spanner hurlers on first. And then you put the readers on. They have to be built backwards. I don't know if that's still a thing. It's just ingrained into my brain that they have to be built backwards because they cause problems. 25 people on Twitch. Thank you very much to everyone over there. It's most appreciated to have you here. If you haven't followed already, it's up to you if you do. I'm not going to push you into it. Just thanks very much for just being here all the same. I think I'm. I think I'm just about. I've gone over like 400 followers on uh, on there now. Thank you. Seriously. We need those as well. Right. Cool. First off, not those. Those. The shows. Oh, I put. I did it upside down. There we go. So what I will do is probably whilst I'm going to be faffing around tomorrow for a bit, I want to put I want to bring a flooring in here. So I'm not going to do anything like OTT of like showing you know just doing too much on the game. What I just want to do is just do the aesthetic stuff where it's like I'm just going to build the floor for this so I don't have to keep running around on the floor, and then everything else will be fine. Actually, no. Do I put the cable in first? That should be fine. Should be okay. Lewis Trevin, how are you doing, buddy? Is it Trevin? Did I say it right? Treves. Treves. Welcome. Oops. That's all ready to go. Just resetting them because we've already done some of these. Treves or Trev Treves? Yeah, I get that as well. Don't worry. Treves. Like Jeeves, but Treves. Okay. I, I just suck at pronunciation like most times anyway, so if I say something right the first time, I'm usually quite shocked. It's fine. Right. How's DLC going? I'm doing alright, I'm just... Yeah, I'm pacing myself. I'm not rushing through it. Like I've I've done I've played through this game three or four times for the testing, so actually playing normal speed is quite it's is quite different. But I've got different agendas to other people. Like I know uh, Higgs Boson Matt has just basic I think he's done like thirty five hours of streaming. Where's the first pickaxe? You have to unlock the first uh, the first tier store. So you have to buy the tier 1 store in order for you to get the pickaxe. Which, and this is one of the things that pissed me off as well. It, that annoyed me. Because I was like, where's the pickaxe? Like, You have to open the store. That sucks. That was, that, was my, that was my first reaction to that. I was like, nah, it's just crap. Didn't like it. It's a nice but Yeah, I know, but it's, it's, even then... Yet still annoying that it's locked off behind a shop wall. You know? It's annoying. But yeah, so I've done this I've done this four or five times now. Not this setup, but I've when doing the beta I was like, okay, cool. I know what I'm doing. Now I'm just taking my time. Done. Right. Did I have a box? Do I still have a bucket of goodies or did I throw that away? 
I feel like I may have got rid of it, which sucks. Do I have? A, I do have a straight conveyor belt. Yes, we need to change that over. So this one, take that off. Stick that up there. We don't need this, but it's always good having spares around. Now, I need my, yep, my doohickey for straightening things up, and we're fine. I don't have a bucket of spare gems. Oh, I do. No. Ah, <laughs> yes, I do. Excellent. I don't think there's any onyx in here. That's, that's going to suck. Okay. Cool, 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 and cool. Now, what I am going to do... Turn everything back on. Empty my harvester because stuff got stuck in it. Not seeing anything else, which is fine. And then I'm going to chuck my gems through here just in case there's an onyx in it. If there isn't an onyx in there, it'll be alright. There you go. That's the reason why I turn it on. Do you still get access to the usual logic stuff? Yeah, you do. Yeah, everything's basically... Um, all the logic stuff is in the normal stuff. Uh, well, I'll take the shovel. Yeah, that's what I do. Shovel's just one of those things. And there we go. So that's the whole setup built today. That is... About 45 grand's worth of pissing around at the start of the game. About, let's say 50 to 70,000 like that's what that's all I've done today so for the last five hours I went from having nothing here to building a tier one mine with a full set setup ready to split stuff up get it all sorted and it just works so that's like five hours of gameplay so that you know, and with like the added part of the beginning you're looking at seven hours to get to this point and if you work at the pace I've just done it at so that's it's depending on how fast you work, but for me, I've taken my time, it's still seven hours. The next job is tier two and tier three. There you go. Now I've just got this mess. Now I need to build a forge. So I probably don't need these anymore. I need one of them, maybe, we'll see. But I want to the reason why I need to make this a little bit clearer is um, when it comes to chucking the heavy um, harvester in, which comes a little bit later, it's nine squares wide. So it's a, it's a big grid. So where all this is has to be ripped up. Um, it may need to be moved over one as well, and it stands like four blocks high. A lot of dumb questions, mate. Do you need uh, the two thousand? Do you need the two thousand as input for that machine on that machine? Oh no, I put the so my, the um, the next tier shop I believe is like eight hundred. But I want enough to do two shops. And I think the other shop, the, the tier three shop, is about a thousand as well. Maybe more. 
But 2,000 is a good round number. And if I use it and I can't, like, sum it up again, I can put that, I can put whatever remainders back into that machine and I can upgrade again. So it comes down to, it comes down to how much I, I want out of it. You can change that to 9999999 for all you like. But for some of the stuff, like, 2,000 is a good start. Yeah. It's just the way that I do things to start with. I can't actually, I mean, the most expensive thing that you need hardstone for is one of the drill, uh, one of the auto miner drills, which is 9,800 hardstone. So you need 10,000. But right now, because you only need to unlock the shops in, this, in, the, in the town, you only need like a couple of grand. <laughs> You're only five hours late. Doesn't it? Don't worry. I w as I said, I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, and I will be streaming um, Sunday as well. So, yeah. just It's just going to be done. Yeah, so the hardstone is the way that you unlock certain things in the game, like shops and the ore miners. You'll figure that out as you go through the game. You're like, okay, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, it's one of those things. Shut it, you tart. Right. Do I have a second map, or did I leave it at New Dawn? I mean, I've got my map. Actually, you know what? It doesn't really matter. My map, I don't really care about the maps after a while. They just they can stay on here. There you go. Now I got my forging platform. Way we're going. We're cooking now, Frankie. Go there. I don't need this anymore because that's spare, so that can go in the bin. And that I can have over here. Can go. You know what? That can go there. It really should go next to my next to my um thingy. There we'll do. We're all good. And because I've got this brewing, I don't need that anymore. Yeah, so all this stuff you will eventually use. It's just the joys of life in this game. Now, I do need to build a auto saw. So I might have to move this again. <laughs> I'm wondering if I've got enough room for it. Because I'll build it off of that pipe. So this pipe here, which is spare, which I don't really... It, uh, when you sit there and just go, so what am I going to use this for? It's like, okay, cool. I'll, I can build an auto saw off this. So the auto saw would be along here. So I need um, piping a bit to pieces to build that. So I need to build a loop first off. We've got enough bits and pieces. I think ma mainly I've just got like these. So I do need um, some straight pipe, which does suck. Do 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 bum dum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum Hey Da 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 How good is it now uh been able to walk with a lot of material in the pan at a st oh I, I gotta be honest. I did. I did a test on that, and I left. I left two drills, run, like running into one pan, and I repaired them five times without, um, without emptying that pan, and it worked so much nicer. It was like, this is this is it. It, it still it basically when you go to pick something up, you'll pick up the pan. It'll like lag for like two or three seconds, depending on how full it is. And then you're able to run around with it. And it's like, this is this is awesome. This is cool. This is genius. And then when you go to put it back down, it'll lag again. But then when you put it down, there's no problems. Um, if you throw it into a hand sorter, it'll take its time. But it will get through it all. 
and it there won't be much of a problem. It's it is very good. So I don't know what they did to like. I think they just turned collision off completely, but I'm pretty sure it, it just. I think it just works for everybody. It's just it is just good. So that was one of the main concerning things because a lo loads and loads of people have ever, like they've always had that problem. Oh, I'm stuck because of all this lag. There's there's not very much of that lag anymore. They even did it so you can haul more stuff on the back of your truck now. You should have the same thing. Yeah. So on the back of your truck, you should be able to bring almost an entire like like full like uh, um, setup with you, and it shouldn't cost any more lag. It should just run sort of okay instead of just really horrifically so yeah you've got that as well like i said i'm not sure what they changed but whatever they changed it worked so yeah it was good i, I like the fact it was done it may it gives everybody even people on like potato pcs genuinely it's just a lot better i know i call it a potato pc but it's just what it is Well, I haven't stacked up enough onto the back of my truck with that yet, but I have moved like a fair amount around, and I haven't really seen much in the way of like lagging problems. So, uh, sweet, that was my biggest. But yeah, um, I swear, I asked if I could remove a uh, collision on trucks. Um, yeah, and back then I think it was impossible. That was the problem. I think it's more of a they were able to do certain things with this update and stuff now because they've got the more experience behind it all like right back when we were asking for it i think there was just problems but now it just it works you know it's like todd howard like i'm gonna be using that i'm gonna be using that bethesda thing for the rest of my life it just works now it's one of my favorite memes of all time now Do do resources still get stuck on the conveyors? Um, not that I know of. I'm pretty sure that got cleaned up in the beta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that would be a test it out and see where you go. I'm pretty sure it should be okay. Right, this is the last thing I need to get set up, and then I can just start expanding out the mine. So, we just need to set up the auto saw, the, the auto saw, and then I'm good. The auto saw is the last piece of the puzzle. And then, yeah, so it's nearly five hours into, well, five hours into this one, two hours into the other, seven hours in, setting up the actual, like, sorting area, getting that done, all good. And I haven't bought any extra drills. I'm just running off with the crappy one. Well, apart from the one that you get in the store, I don't. I haven't bought any of the new. The, I haven't bought any. Well, I haven't built any. Because they sort of do say you do need to build some to get like a decent amount of money coming through. But if you just pace yourself like I have, like you don't really need to do a lot. It just works over time. And I do prefer the setup like this instead of underground. Especially when later on comes and you're like, ah, oh, I need to do this quick. Bugger. Right. I need to change that to a T-pipe. Should have enough corners for this. Okay. Straight. So, saw's going in the middle. This is going that way around. It's going to take himself a left turn. So, that way. That way. How you doing, Charlie? Welcome in, bud. Uh, how's it going, Hyra? Josh, how you doing? 
where would you recommend moving to after the first plot? Looking at the map, none of them look very central. Um, me personally, as a, I tried to go as central as I could. Waterside is basically as central as you could go. So Waterside is there, where I am. There's Waterside. And you've got the main town here, which is New which is New Glade, which is basically all the shops you're going to unlock and stuff. Burville is a good place for the scrapyard and everything else. So we're, you know, in, in amongst two shops here. The only ones that are too far away are literally the electrical shop and the, um, like, furniture shop, you know, the house build shop. They're down in here. But you are closer to Mott's Island, but you do have to go through the Barrens just to get to the harbour. So I went to I went here just because it does feel more central and I don't have to go as far to do stuff when it comes to the more immediate stuff that I need. So the more immediate stuff for me are like conveyor belt stuff, um, piping and everything else. And they are within these two shops here, which is why I like it here. Like th this is just my personal preference, but Waterside for me is like the best plot in the game. I don't like this one up here. Like, Scoria is way too far away from everything. It's too far. It's too far. Too far. I've got to join this up as well, yeah. Sometimes All I need is the air that I breathe Just to run around right all good all good all good right that's the soaring soaring that one we need to bring this in here we need to bring this in here and we need to bring this here uh, I haven't got another corner Oh, for flip's sake, man. Okay, I've got a corner for this, but I need a corner for conveyor belt's sake. And I ain't got one. Damn it. Fold colour this map looks like a human heart. Well, it looks like an island. But okay. <laughs> oh, you can have that one. It's fine. And I need a keypad as well, and I haven't got a keypad. Oh. I'm seriously bummed up on this one. Right, okay, cool. I need a corner and a keypad. Because the auto saw is basically ready. Downside is the fact that I've basically chucked it right next to this. That's alright, I can just tap keys. We're fine. Okay, I need a. Um, yeah. Tell you what, that is a little bit annoying. I don't want to move it over one just because of this. Can I change this? Actually, yeah, I can. There we go. <laughs> now I can put this in here with no problems. Right, so I need a corner. So I need the corner to go right, and I need a keypad. I don't think... Off the top of my head, I don't think I can get a keypad from this shop. Maybe I'll do. Good evening from Massachusetts. Just got home from work and kind of thought you might be doing a live stream on the new update. Love your stuff. Thank you very much for like watching. That's most pretty. The important thing to say at this point is you can drive in lava, and the main argument of what, uh, yeah, yeah, driving across the driving across the right like the lava field is pretty cool, and it shortens that path. So yeah, I like Waterside is just like it's just the better plot. It, but from as I said from a me point of view, it is just better. Just all the time. Any tips for speed running? No. <laughs> Genuinely, it's it's um it's it's the thing is is in order for you to speed run it, you would have to you have to set your pan up in the lava and dig with a spade because you don't need to brush anything you're just like getting rid of it all and then you need to then go off and take you need to drive to a shot in the jeweler which is at lumberton so you have to go through the maze to get there and then you have to sell off and then you have to come back through it and then you have to make more money so you and i was sitting there just going i don't know if this is possible to speed run 
because unless people like actually figure out the shortcuts and stuff genuinely i sat there for about the first like hour and a half of my stream just like getting through the first section that was it i like i've said if i work at my pace to go from like zero to like south hope it takes about 45 minutes in this game it took me two hours to get to waterside and then it's taken me five hours to get to this point but i'm not building drills i'm literally just running at like a slower pace but yeah, even even through testing, I was just sitting again. I don't know if it's possible to speedrun as much. So it's going to be interesting to see the speedrunners because I know there's going to be a few out there that are trying. So yeah, I, I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to watch these people because I know they're going to try and find different shortcuts or like spawn points and stuff. So we shall see. It'll be as I said, it'll be interesting to watch. But I don't know me personally. As just a casual player. Like, you're just going to take your time. You'll be all right. But when it comes to speedrunning, it's going to be fun watching them struggle, I think. Because I know that if you play Bastion, you can get to a million quid in, like, 52 minutes. And I've seen those speedruns. I'm like, that's that's ridiculous. So I know it can be done. But I don't know if it can be done in this version. just because of the small little things you have to do so yeah i'm willing to watch i think it's going to take a bit longer to figure it out though no no you're not allowed to use mods no mods in those speedruns they're like legit i'm not a speedrunner i i just I came up with some of the ideas for the speedruns, but me, myself, I'm just useless. I just play the game and just enjoy it. What am I here for? I am here for... Charlie7887 subscribed with Prime. Boom to you, sir. Thank you very much. Um, Keypad. 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 I need a corner pipe. I need a keypad. That's the one. Yep. Thank you very much for subscribing on YouTube. I, I can't read your name. This text is too small. And YouTube's not showing me notifications. So I don't know. Guarantee. I'm going to get onto my email. And it'll be like, yeah, all these people subscribed. Oh, cool. Yeah, thanks. I don't know. Keypad. Keypad, keypad, keypad. Done. Ah, oh, very much there, lad. All right. Is there anything else here I need whilst I'm here? And uh, no. Right, cool. Sonny Williams. Yeah, but the thing is, normally it would come up on the screen. It comes up saying this person has subscribed. Literally, nothing like that has come up on YouTube today. I don't know if it's just broken. Told you you were going to reach 20k before me. No, it's just Charlie's like, we we had. The, uh, I swear he was gonna get there before I did, just because of what what he does. It's just cooler. <laughs> I like Charlie's channel. It's 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 mud sport racing. It's cool. I don't even know what I'm up to right now, mate. I just haven't looked. Nineteen thousand six hundred and twenty-nine. Thank you very much, guys. That's awesome. We might, uh, if I carry this on, I might hit like twenty k this weekend. But that's like another four hundred people. That's a lot of people. That's awesome, mate. Thank you for the support. It's awesome. I think my channel. Yeah, I reckon when you get your when you get that your new truck rolling. Yeah, I, I reckon you're gonna you're gonna go up a lot, and. We've we've spoken about your content and stuff before. You you've got so much coming up. I can't put things in properly. You know, I'm just, this is how much of a dullard I am. I can't use logic stuff properly. There we go. What? No. Oh crap! I've got Onyx running around on his belt. That shouldn't be there. Ha! <laughs> we finally got our first piece of Onyx. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> 
Hype Train over on Twitch. Let's keep, if you can, keep it rolling. Go as much as you can. I don't know if you will. It's cool if you do. Sub gift to use bits to get the next level. 93% complete. We've got 5 minutes and 13 seconds. What's the new white gem? It's a diamond. I like the model. Personally. It's, it's a bit bricky, but it's alright. It's a diamond, buddy. It's cool. Thank you very much for subscribing with Prime, though. It's awesome. Like I said, use use Amazon's money. Carry on with it. It's cool. I'm not going to complain. Because it's funny. Right. So, if I move this here. Is that going to interfere with that one? No, it shouldn't do. If I move... Okay, they're backwards. Cool. And this one. Nails facing forward. That's all good. Right, where's my anvil? There's my anvil. I'm going to bring my anvil in here. Turn it around so it's facing the right way. Might help. Put my furnace down next to it. And there we go. We're all forged up and ready to go. And then I'm going to have to build a little workshop like here where my pipes are. And I don't want to move my pipes yet. So I won't do that just yet. I will put my scales though. I want to put them there. Basically, all of this has to go away. And at some point, I will have to. It's going to have to be so I can actually get the um, truck around the back of here. Because when I bring in the heavy, when I bring in the heavy like um, harvester, it's going to take up all this space. So I know it's coming, and it's really big. Did you see the hype train that went up on Pirate Software the other day? Level one hundred, level one hundred. So it was hundred and something. It's even they've even put in a new emoji, and it was literally his face dressed up as a banana, which I thought was pretty funny. Anyways, it's looking good. So yeah, I need to build. I need to buy some stairs for this, so I don't have to keep like running up and down like Minecraft steps. Um, I need to build like a little like shed. So I've got my forge and everything else. We're good. We've got our auto cutter. So this means I don't have to worry about fudging around with um, like doing stuff for people, which is going to be fine. And uh, we just need to make this into an actual space to work on. And then everything down here, like tomorrow, we're just going to go down underground. And it's going to be fine. No, I don't like it. Because... This, I have to keep jumping up and down this. And this is annoying. I prefer having a set of steps. So that's fine. And it just means that I'll start actually decorating. So I want to make this build. And this is like, I think this is going to be one of the very, like, I'm only going to do these a couple of times. I'm not going to do it as much as I did on, like, Bastion. But I do want to do this so this whole thing looks like one decent build. And it looks nice. And it looks good and aesthetically cool. So when I go around to ripping out the floor, when it comes to, like, going down to tier 3, because the idea is to... My main plan is to basically take the roller, when I get it, and take out all of the snow off of here, turn this into a floating platform, because we can, we've now got angled wood that we can use to, like, decorate with. I want to build it so it looks like it's actually on a, like, a scaffold. So your sorting area, instead of just floating... It all looks a bit nice. So that's the plan. It's going to be basically a long time. So I want to be doing this for a while. <coughs> well, especially on this build. Because I just want it to look better. Basically. That's the plan at least. But yeah, there we go. So I think for now, that's going to do me. I need to turn in, I need to put an auto control on the um, thing down here. Can you forge pipes? No. That's unfortunate. Right, let's take that out. So these will turn themselves off. We'll finish this for now. It's all good. Right. So, uh, scorer chamber is the aquifer. Yeah, I, I don't like it. But I'm picky. 
So when it comes to what I prefer to have out of something, I wasn't a big fan of Scoria. It's just me though. Right, we'll turn this off. Oh yeah, I can't because I need to turn it off here. There we go. Yeah, pan. Oh, that was lucky. Right, uh, we'll take that as well. Right, and how much money have I got left? 7,800. Brilliant. Now I'm going to show you what to do. Oh. Balls that quick. That one. 99. Excellent. I think that actually might be enough to open up two shops. Maybe. We, should, we might be alright. So, first off, I need to unlock... Um, I don't want to unlock the ticket shop. I find the ticket shop just painful. Because I don't really care about it right now. It's, it's the only shop in this game I don't like. It's got no discernible purpose. It's just a little bit of a waste. But that is just my criticism. Right. Next, next, next. next. Jump, 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 jump. And go. Right. And uh, we need to stop here. The ticket shop is to buy a ticket so you can get to Mott's Island and buy the vehicles. So you have to jump through one other hoop in order for you to do it. Right, one ticket shop. Oh, I didn't buy that. <laughs> right, one ticket shop. Uh, tier 2, I think we can probably do tier 2. Maybe. Tier 3 we need um, core stone, and we're not mining core stone yet, so we ain't going to get that yet. Right, uh, yeah, tier 2. Down low for the good stuff. I know! Shush you. Get your drills down low, you can do Ah, oh, shut up. Shut up! Shut up! I'm about to break. Tier 2 shop, I'm going to chuck up here. Actually, you know what? No, we'll put the bloody ticket off. I don't want to use this. It's a waste. So you need Clarium, Iron Bar, and Hardstone. Thankfully, I brought my Clarium with me. Da, 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 da. So you don't need a lot for this one. This is just this is quite small in comparison to what you need later on, especially doing like the ore rigs. Annoying things though. <laughs> right, that's the ticket office done. <laughs> Bloody waste of time. So to put this into perspective, and I, I speak about this, I've spoken about this in my video, and I've spoken about this in the review for the game as well because I've done a review of this. Now this is the ticket office. Now what you're going to do is you're going to save up a load of tokens and you're going to want to go to Mott's Island and you're going to basically want to buy all the vehicles on the first go there, right? You'll get the hauler, you'll get the lava tank, you'll get the roller, which costs money, and you'll get the motorcycle. Now, the hauler, the motorcycle and the tank all cost tokens, so make sure you've got like 20k on you, just because that's a nice round number and you'll be fine with that. Take some money over there with you, about six, seven grand, so you've got enough for the roller as well. And then when you come back, you put it all on the boat and you basically travel back. This means you never, ever go to Mott's Island ever again. All right? That's it. That's the whole reason why this, this, this building exists. That's the whole reason. One ticket is all that I'd, I'd use. And it's like, what's the point? So, for me... That's one of the more sort of, I've got to be honest, it's one of the more sort of useless things I don't really like in the game. But that's just me. Sammy J. Will, thank you very much for following over on Twitch. See, I can read your name because it comes up on my announcement thing. 
YouTube's not right. Tier two shop. Tier two shop is seven hundred wood, eight hundred iron bar, and forty clarium. All of this again. Good morning. Oh yeah, is in Asia. Well, it's nearly morning here as well. It's it's like half past eleven. Twenty to twelve. So I'm actually going to be coming off like real soon. Oh, uh, what am I missing? Bollocks! Oh, fudge. I'm like 50 short iron. How am I that down on iron? Oh, that's not funny. Tell you what, that's really annoying. <laughs> I wanted to open it up today. I don't want to do anything else now. I want to go to bed. <laughs> Our bums. Right, anyways. Well, sucks to be me, I'm. I'm going to kick my can around the place. By the way, for the record, right, that is one of the best power generators in the game. It's awesome. And just gonna save the game. I wanna jump down the hole. Look at it. Look how cool that is. I've never, I, I, I've got to be honest, I never tried jumping down there before in my life. So, guess what we're doing tomorrow? <laughs> so, tomorrow when I come online, we are going to open up tier three, the tier two store. And then I'm going to chuck down the tier three store and we'll go for that as well. So, I'll do that all that tomorrow. And, yeah, it's this has been pretty awesome. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this live stream, uh, all the stuff that's going to be coming out over the next like week or so, it's all going to be guide videos on how to get this game working for you. If you do have any questions down in the comments section, I want to say thank you very much for all the support. Thank you very much for the super chats and the prime members over on Twitch. Uh, what time tomorrow? It's going to be around 8 o'clock UK time because I've got a birthday party to go to first for the kids. And then I'll be back on Sunday as well. So we're doing like a full weekend of Hydroneer. Basically, just going to try and get it all done. Um, not all of it, but basically like a nice big chunk of it. So everybody's all good. So yeah, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification button below for all other updates. If you want to become a member and help the channel out, there's a little join button. It costs like 99 cents a month, which means that you're basically helping support the channel, which is awesome. And I, I'd normally have like uh, stream avatars running across the bottom. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn it on. So, thank you very much for kicking by. I'll catch you all later. I'm going to say peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. Have a great rest of your day. And I will catch you all tomorrow as soon as I get online. Until then, a boom. Fist bump to you.